Hello, good morning. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream as Albert Groves on Wild RP. Boop. Let's hopefully... <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully, let's get some uh, Transit Authority training in. I got a good feeling about today. I got a good feeling. I think today we're going to get some training. I can feel it. Let me just make sure I got everything set. Uh huh. All right. So I've done that. So now. I need to go send the telegram to the transit tip line. And then they should be aware. And then the rest is in their hands. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Excuse me. Ugh. Good evening. Do 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 Oh. Dear Mr. Graves, I'm terribly sorry for the delay in getting back to you. If you're around interested, I'll be assisting in the transport of guards from Cisco to the Rhodes Job Fair. I'll be leaving around 4.30 p.m. EST from St. Denis Docks. You're more than welcome to come along to see how we operate the boats. The Rhodes Job Fair begins at 5 p.m. EST. You're also more than welcome to come on by, as there might be a few of us there. That was at... Well, that was like three hours ago. Damn. The damn... So frustrating how the, um, the time difference. If only the whole world could be completely in sync. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> All right. But I think there's still people around from the Transit Authority, so let's... um. um Good day. It's there Friday. Sweet. All right. Uh, hold on. What did she? What did she? Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
So the first they're doing. So that's probably done. So they might be still still be around roads. The roads job fair. Oh, that would have started two hours ago. They might still be around there. Um. Oh, where would they be? I suppose let's head up to Rig Station. See if we can spot a train schedule. Start narrowing it down. Oh. You are my horse, right? <laughs> are you him? Are you my horse? Sometimes I forget what you look like. So I'm in the voice chat so they can see me in the Discord. And I've sent the tip on the tip line. So they'll get that. Now we just, we wait till we find them. Or they telegram me. And we'll be sweet. I think. How am I going for food? Oh, I need to get rid of these. I need to get some more apples. Apple. Bum 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 bum. No! No! Not the wolves! Are they still coming? I would just like to check the train schedule, check my telegrams, please! Oh, it's currently EDT. They've got their daylight savings. Fun, 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 fun. And I know ours resumes soon. So there's no train, so they might still be doing boat stuff. Oh!
The Rhodes Job Fair. The Rhodes Job Fair. Maybe there's people still at Rhodes. We can only hope. Let's go have a look. Oh! Some fireworks going on. That must be at the the fair thing. So why is it a job fair? Is that where people learn about jobs or... Then is it a, is it a celebration? Going for the overtake. <laughs> the turkey sound. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Is this the fair or is this just the market?
I want to be allowed about my beautiful wives. Nothing yet. Was that Miss Worth? I'm trying to remember what color hair she's got. Is that her? Miss Worth, is that Hello? you? Pardon? Oh, sorry, I, miss, I, I thought you might have been a, a Miss Worth from the Transit Authority. Oh, no, sorry, I'm Peggy from the Transit Authority. Oh! Oh, that's fine as well. Hello, my name is Albert Groves, one of the new trainees. I see. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Nice to meet you, Peggy. Are you interested in doing a ride along? 100% yes. I've just done three hours of hot air ballooning. Um, but I tell you what, let me check the bulletin board and make sure no other trains are due out. And if there aren't, then I'll do a passenger train and we'll go to Ansberg. Sure, whatever works for you. Okay, just give me, I just need 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go to my apartment, so I just need 10 T minutes. Take your time. Thank you. We found one. We found one. Yay. She, what did she say? She's been on for three hours. I hope, I hope I'm not... Hope I'm not being a bother.
<coughs> Excuse me. Do 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 What did she say she had to go to her apartment? I think everyone's I think everyone can get like their own apartment, which is in like I don't know if it's like if it's at mul you can access it from multiple locations or if it's just at like one spot. I think yeah, you can go to the markets and you can like get your own furniture and you can decorate it how you want, which is cool. I think you pay rent though? Ba -ba 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 -ba.
<laughs> Horses are funny. <laughs> Took us on this damn. Need to find a bin. She's back. All right, sir. We're going to go to Wallace Station. Sounds good to me. And we're going to get you a train. Sounds fantastic. Do you have a uniform yet? Uh, no. Okay, we're going to need to get you a uniform. Prepared for when you pass, because I'm going to make sure that you pass. <laughs> I, need a, I need to get my horse. Jolly good. Have you done any ride-alongs before? Uh, I've done, um, last weekend, I did one with, um, uh, uh on the, uh, Miss, Miss Worth, out on the West Line, and then, um... You know what, I was going to take us on the West Line, but I thought, now nah, we need to get people moving around out East, I think. Yes, yeah, the East Line definitely seems busier, because then the, 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 oh! The, oh, the... Apple! Oh my god, what is that horse doing up there? All right, don't worry about it. Come on, we got we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Schedules are very important, and I'm always late. Oh, for sorry. No. Sorry. Oh. Gotta be. You gotta be friendly. Oh. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Got it. Uh, but yeah, uh, before my ride along with Miss Worth, uh, I did a ride along. Well, I did. Uh, I did my interview with Mr. Flood. Uh, we did. We were on a wagon. Uh, we went out to uh, tumbleweed, and then. Um, and then after that, he put me in contact with, uh, I joined on a train ride along, uh, Mr. Recently married, um, something, Wal Brampton Walsh. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I've not met them yet, yeah, or I think I met them once, like, in passing. Yes, uh, uh, yes, a train ride along with him, and then one with Miss Worth, which was, we were both smashing, but I just, I was, uh, pressed for time, so this, this is actually, uh, quite a fortunate time. I'm not holding you up or anything, am I? No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. We'll do, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do loads of loops with you, but I will make sure that feedback is left, and it sounds like to me that, you know, you know what you're doing so far, so. Oh, I remember bits and pieces. I know, um, whenever we stop at a station, we send a telegram, like, we check the, the tip line, we send out an update to the transit uh, line and the law. Telegram lines, so I believe. The, the policy on that has sort of changed, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, so we send telegrams as and when we want to. So if you want to send one at every stop, that's up to you, but you don't have to. And I know that their telegram lines, especially law, and even our one gets busy and with all the tips that get in there. So if you're tipping in at every single station... Um, mm, yes, they might if you're be a bit much. Yeah, and things will get missed, if that makes sense. So what I use, and if you're a member of Transit Authority, you can see in the bulletin when trains are out. You know when trains are out. So I let every department know that I'm putting a train out, and then I let every department know that I am putting the train away. Um, or, uh, do you know what? I don't even do that sometimes. But I let them know I'm starting the train because there are schedules at every station. So I want, I want everyone to use those schedules more than, you know, me having to telegram every single time. Um, yes, so you make good, that's why schedules are there. So it's sort of just right at, at the least, just one at the start and one at the end. Yeah, and then if something goes wrong, then let the deputies know. Obviously, so for when I do, I know that Deputy Wainwright likes a likes a check in at every station, but. I like to do one if I am gonna do them like every other station maybe or every so often when it has when it's been a little bit, just let them know that we're okay. Right. No, that makes sense. And then um I'm trying to think what else. Uh so it's for the for the, the east line, it's only Wallace Station where you can uh, take the train out of the depot. Uh no, it's Wallace and Ansberg. Ah. But I'm not gonna hold it against you, don't, don't worry. That's um, right. I'm you so many you will learn where all the places are. Things like this will come easy. Running a train is actually a lot easier than I think what people realize. You just have to remember the little bits. Yes. Um, but you you get that in time with practice. So it's just making sure you have enough coal. Um, I like to bring extra coal bags. I like to, you know, just do stuff like that, really. That it's, 
it'd be good to have spare rather than not have it and then need it. Exactly. Ha has anyone ever gotten uh, s s become stranded on the tracks because they didn't bring enough coal? So the train is designed quite well because Earl will keep like a basic supply of coal, but it won't be as much. So the train will sort of be slow and splutter a little bit because Earl's coal isn't as good as the coal that we put in it. Poor Earl. So <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, how much do you, uh, how much coal do you take with you? So it depends. It varies because, um, what we have to do is put the coal in the coal bag and then the coal bag full of coal goes in the coal engine. Yes. And it'll sort of make sense when you move on to your next stage of training. Right. Oh, goodness. Well, hopefully it won't be long. I hope so. I'm just, I'm just really excited to be learning more, doing my part. And I've just, I've always just had a, a great dream of driving trains one day ever since I was a small boy. So this is, it, it's... It's surreal for the dream to finally be taking fruition. How long have you been? Uh, I fucking been... hate this stretch of road. I always get so fucking lost on it. It gets me so mad. Well, I'm glad it's not just me. Uh, how long have you been with the uh, Transit Authority? Um, about a month now. Oh, really? Maybe I... a little bit more. I got my training done out of state, though, so I was kind of like a out of state hire type thing. Ah. Only a month. Goodness. Yeah, you just like the others. You speak as if you've got years of years of experience. That's because it's quite easy when you get used to it. I promise. Oh, all right. I'll keep that in mind. It's just I just don't want to make any mistakes. You know. Mistakes are how we learn. There's a harsh reality. It's not harsh. Um, it's about how you pick yourself up, right? So you want to make sure that you're dusting yourself off and you've learned from it. So as long as you don't do it again, and if you do it again, it's fine. Just keep learning. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing wrong with learning. That's a very positive way of looking at it. I always yell at people for riding on the track, so I don't think it's very smart that I ride on it myself, is it? No, yeah, I, I saw a couple um, on the way to roads riding along the lines. I'm thinking, but that's where the trains, that's for the trains. Like, well, look at these perfectly good roads. What are you doing? Exactly. That's for the, well, you know, we're going to teach them. We're going to put trains out all the time. Me and you, we're going to do it. Yes. And it's like, well, they better get out of the bloody way. Okay. So let's get the, do you, um, have you seen any particular trains that you enjoy? Uh, Miss Worth was very uh, excited about the, uh, is it the Choo Choo Lagoon? Yes, the Choo Choo Lagoon is a popular one. I'm partial to the winter passenger train myself because it's got two closed spaces and one big open one. Um, and it's very pretty. It's not as pretty as the director's train, but that one's only requested for events. So oh. I'm partial to a winter's train and I'm partial to a Choo Choo Lagoon and a Little Olive. Oh, that's, they're all, well, let's go the that wintertime one. Because, like, I saw, I, I got a, my fair share of seeing the Choo Choo Lagoon last week. So, Robbie, oh, I should probably see all of them. the Little Olive? Because that one's got, like, two, well, we kind of want loads of people on the train. I think, I think this train's going to be busy tonight because so many people are out east. So, why don't we do the Choo Choo Lagoon just based on how many people are, are out, you know? Sure. Sounds good to me. Oh. Ugh. So where are we now? There is a huge cargo train we could take, but it is huge. It's the big one, isn't it? Have you seen that one? No, I don't think so. Well, I, I can ask the depot, but I think I think we want to focus on passengers at the moment, don't we? Yes, they were they were very um, determined to get me practicing, you know, uh, writing people's names down as they boarded the train. So that's a thing we don't actually do anymore whatsoever. We don't ask people's names or anything. You know, you can oh. introduce yourself and ask, but we don't let we don't do that anymore. Oh goodness, uh, do we keep a tally? Um, yeah, you can keep track on how many people you've got, but usually we just, you know. Right. Oh, they, oh well. 
change is good, I guess. A lot of the paperwork system changed, and that was a huge part of it. There it is. All right, jump aboard. <laughs> so Earl's going to... We're going to... Do you know the signals to give to Earl? No, I don't think they got into that. So you want to you wanna posse up with Earl. Oh. Like this. And if you usually do that, he'll know to go forward. So why don't you give that a go for me? Posse up, is it? Yeah, that's, that's, or, you know, he knows any of the posse ups, really. He's, he's a, surprised he's not been in a gang. How do I do that? Okay, uh, so there are checks we can do before the train, but I usually let Earl do those safety checks because I don't really know what I'm doing engineering-wise. Um, so Rhea's really good to talk to about that kind of thing, but that is something you will pick up as you do the job, you know? Okay, good to know. Do you have a lantern? Uh, not on me. Oh dear, oh dear. Why? Uh, we got a big tunnel coming up? No, I just like to have a lantern on me at all times. That's right, I'll keep a, keep a mental note. Yo, Steve, we're doing some training. Literally, train training. It's a posse up to go. Posse up to go. Or I'll see if you can get us to Wallace a little bit faster. <laughs> okay. So, um, what we're going to do then, I'm going to have you send it. You can send one to Rangers if you want as well. Um, oh, and yes. one to deputies. We're going to leave here in 15 minutes. So, we're going to take our time and set some stuff up. We're going to get the coal bags, things like that. But the first protocol is to telegram the law and just say passenger train will be departing from Wallace following the Eastern Lines at 8 by the Eastern Stars. Yes, yes. So, to the, to the, uh, to the law department. Yep. And I do like to let medics um, and everyone else know. So you can send one to medic, press, and ranger. I know that's a lot of telegrams to remember. But it's good M to get in the habit of it. Medic, ranger, law, press. Yeah. So that's a, a, a passenger train departing Wallace Station at 8 p.m. Eastern Stars. Uh, uh, Eastern. And then you're going to say, following the Eastern Passenger Line, excluding Emerald Ranch due to damages. Excluding it, excluding Emerald Ranch due to damages. All right. Um, uh, let's, let's see. Well, I best get the first one done. Okay, I'm going to be in the corner just doing a little bit of paperwork for just a second. Okay, I will do law first. I'm assuming we can copy and paste this. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I gotta write stuff. Maybe like yeah, like that. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
from the transit 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 authority A passenger train will be departing Wall Station at Oh, not AEDT. It's an Australian train. A passenger train will be departing Wall Station at 8 p.m. EDT en route to um on the eastern line en route to Ansberg and skipping Did you say something? Oh no, just uh, thinking to myself. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I got to remember that yeah when I'm typing in the letter if I press the N key it will Activate my voice. Uh, from, from the Transit Authority, a passenger train will be departing Wall Station, APM, EDT on the East Line, en route to Ansberg, and skipping on wrench due to damages. Sign Albert Groves. Copy and paste that. Um, uh, so that was law. Medic. We've done law, medic, press. Ranger. And I suppose... And I suppose just to be thorough, I'll send one to transit as well. Just so they've got a record of me. Morning, Hammer. How you doing, mate? Uh, Miss Miss Peggy, I, I believe I've, I've dispatched all the relevant telegrams. Okay, bear with me just two seconds. Uh, I'm just fixing. It. I may I might have done something wrong in the paperwork, so I'm just fixing it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, all, all right, all good. No problem. Take your time. So this is to do with not this train. This is to do with a different train. I do apologize. That's all right. That's all right. I'm in no rush. So I sent one. I sent one. Uh, law, medic, press, ranger, and transit for safety. I think I did it right. I'm good, Hammer. Uh, we just started uh, just under an hour ago. Um, I'm very lucky. I Very quickly, I ran into uh, Peggy here from the Transit Authority. And we're going to be doing some... A, I'm doing another ride-along.
<laughs> How was last night, Hammer? Was it good? I'm just looking at the wild Discord. It looks like there's yeah, a bit of Transit Authority stuff happening now. Um, there's a... So, yeah, we're doing a passenger train on the Eastern Line. Um, and then... Um, it looks like there's uh there's going to be uh starting at the same time there's a going to be a freight train on the western line. How exciting. It was good, I had a lot of fun. Nice. Love to hear it. God, I hope I did the Well, I suppose they'll let me know if I missed anything in the uh telegrams because I sent one to the transit line so they can see what I sent to everyone. This is good. This is how I like to learn. Like, in a sense, in a way, being thrown in the deep end with a with a rope. Like, just, just doing it. Like, because, yeah, I can be told how to do something over and over, but it's not until I actually have a hand in doing it that it sticks in my head. So, it's good. I'm so sorry. I'm just getting a little bit flustered with the paperwork. It's going to take me a second. I tell you, what you can do is um, talk to Earl. And just see if he needs anything. So if he wants you to check the whole train, um, and just walk up and down the train and make sure we've got no stairways and stuff like that. Sounds good. Take your time, miss. I'll go. I'll go talk to Earl. Hope she's all right. Earl, you son of a gun. Oh. Earl? <laughs> Earl? <laughs> Earl! <laughs> Where are you, Earl? I just drive off with the train. Tally ho! <laughs> it's like, that's one way to get fired. Oh, there's a camp over there. I've got Banjo Kazooie music stuck in my head. Not a bad thing, but I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I'd laugh so hard if, like, one of the many, well, not the many, one of the couple of people that have already robbed me on the server were, like, waiting down here to get me. I think, I, I'm assuming when she says speak to Earl and check the train, she means like, just role plays if you're checking it. Like, I don't think we can literally go and talk to an NPC and he'll be like, yeah, check this, check that. Like, you go up and check like a percentage or something. I, I, I think that's what she means. Because <laughs> yeah, sometimes they'll be like, yeah, you need to make an announcement. Like, you need to do this or you need to do that. And, I'm, and I'm, sometimes I'm like, do they want me to actually like go up and interact with Sion or am I just pretending? Um, I think, I think he's like an invisible NPC, like as if he's like the train driver, but I don't think he's actually there. They just, they pretend because they don't actually, um, drive from, uh, the engine. They, they're on the, there was on the, the, the one behind and they do hand signals. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, Albert Groves! All right, Albert. I'm so sorry for ignoring you for 10 minutes. Let's uh, No, you weren't ignoring me. Up, okay. So, every train station will have coal bins, but they will be in different places. I don't think Bacca Station has one. I could be incorrect on that. We're going to put the bag down. And we're going to... So, there will be 90 pieces of coal stored in each bin. 
Um, and that's kind of what we have to share for the day between the department. So what I like to do is I like to grab two lots from the first station I start at, and I like to make sure that I still got coal left behind in case anybody else wants to start a train. That's very thoughtful. Thank you. So now what we're going to... Oh, this is very heavy. So what I'm going to do is actually ask you to hold some of it for a minute. 30... And is it 30 pieces per bag? Um, you can put however many you like in a bag, but 30 pieces will burn for about half an hour, whether you're stationary or not. So I like to be very... Mm, what's the word? I like to be very punctual if I can, even though I am a little bit late sometimes. Oh, the main thing is is if you try, the effort is, is the important thing. So there are... There's storage up here. There's two storages, uh, but you will get this in your other training. There's the endage story where we're going to put the spare bags and the coal where that's where Earl will feed it in. Okay. Um, gosh darn it. We're going to have to get a different train out. I'm so mad. Oh no. Why is this? Sometimes Earl won't let me into the storage bin because he doesn't like it, so we have to go put the train oh, back. So let's, let's go put it back and we'll grab another one. That's another... That, see, this is a little tip and trick that you'll pick up, a tip of the trade. I can't believe it. Earl, come on now. Dear, oh so, dear. Yeah, he's not even letting me use oh, it. Oh, a couple here. of gentlemen um, just, just arrived at the station. Oh, no! We'll be back. Look, Zara, you're too slow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I think she's accessing some controls there, but then you do some hand signals to, like, as a visual indicator to people nearby. There's a, malfun there's a malfunction with the train, so we're just getting a different one oh. out if you wanted to wait here. Yes. It's a passenger train, isn't it? There's no cold it train, no nothing like it. No, it doesn't. No, this is a passenger it. train, yeah. You mind guns on the train? Well, we got. Well, you're going to have to wait here and be patient. Just give us five minutes. Oh, I said, do you mind guns on the train? Um. Oh, guns. Uh, no long arms, but you can have your side arms. Can I have a long arm? You can't have any long arms whatsoever. Only we can. Oh, I see, I see. All right, well, you go ahead and you do your thing, miss. You can still have your short arm, though, so... But oh, good, we'll, we'll be oh, right good. Back. How about you, mister? Who's you? Uh, my name's uh, Albert. I'm one of the new trainees. We'll be right back. Oh, just just be right back. We'll yeah. be right back. Right, goodbye. Because that would be a bit much. You know, one person gets a long arm, then everyone will want a long arm on the train. That's exactly why. Oh, I need to write notes. <laughs> I'm a trainee. I'm a little, I'm a baby train. I am but a little train, choo-choo. Give me all your coal. Yes, I do have bullets in my revolver. I just had to write down the dates of my um, my HVTs. I'm doing heavy goods transports across the crossing, so oh. I had to write them down. Oh, wow. It's a lot of paperwork, isn't it? Um, it's actually not. 
Uh, we've just got a lot of it fixed up. It's just, I messed up that. I'm not good with numbers and I messed up the dates pretty bad. And um, I just needed to fix it. And I was get, I was personally getting flustered with the numbers. Oh no, I, I'm, I get sometimes get a bit confused with that as well. It can be very frustrating. We thought you were just being held up. Uh, no, you guys no. Should, uh, get... Oh my gosh, no, there's so SCS many people thing. here, and SCS I didn't thing. see you all here. Hello. There were so many people. I didn't know. I didn't okay. know. Please, Place I didn't it. know you were all here. Hey. Peggy, Peggy, there's you're okay. What I'm the okay. bloody you're hell? You're supposed to be here. They definitely went this way. Now you're in the middle there's of a the situation. There's a group of people at Wallace, what? and they kept what? asking to keep their long arms on the train. I don't know if that, that's guys. who you're looking for. What the bloody hell? Bloody hell! We're not supposed to let people see the train go in and out. Oh. oh, I didn't. I didn't see them at all. They were all very well hidden. Were they law? Yeah, they were deputies. Are they? Do you think they're looking for that long-armed gentleman at the station? Well, I, I feel like that group kept asking about like what type of trade it was, and I didn't. I didn't trust it. I didn't trust it. So I. Ooh. Oh my Check goodness, great. I... We're gonna go with a choo choo look. Oh, they should have waited. So this is something I should have told. Oh, Albert! Oh! Whoa, whoa, sorry! Oh my god, I'm so, oh. I'm so sorry, I'm not supposed no, to No, no, that was me. I, stay. I was just stretching my legs. Albert, quick, get on the train. There's a bear, there's a bear, there's a there's bear. There's a bear. Get on the train. I can hear it. Where is it? Where the bloody hell is it? I think it's over there. Oh my god! A wolf got on the train the other this day. This is a very dangerous depot. A wolf got on the train? Yeah. You know what they should have done? They should have waited and then you hide all the law department in the carriages and we, we return to Wallace Station and they all jump out. Okay, so what you want to do when you bring out a train, and this is very important because then it avoids situations like that, is making sure you can access the storage because sometimes you just can't. So that's what we want to do. Right. <laughs> Albert, do you see a clip in my hand? Uh, no, I just see two hands. Stay with the train. <laughs> she's, she's going through it today. She's a poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. She takes it very seriously, which is nice. But she's a lot going on. <laughs> I love the way the Lord just jump out like, ah! <laughs> like who the fuck is this? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they come back and it's just me. I'm like, hi! Um, yeah! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> are you alright? Are, are you ready? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's Earl. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get there. Everything will be fine. You watch those, that gentleman will probably be gone. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I can't believe I put the train away in front of all those people. I'm mortified. No, no, no I didn't. They were all very well I didn't see them. They were like ninjas. <laughs> That's right. They're very good at their job. Too good. Using the night as best. They this can't expect you to coming. check every bush. Exactly. 
Right. So we are going to oh, get no, the spare coal bags. There's an elk on the road. The, the tracks. They'll get out the way. They're fast. All right, I'll slow it down. Slow it down. What are they bloody doing? Uh, they're clear, I think. Naughty elk. All right, this is a travesty because we're already behind schedule. I'm always late for everything. No, no I've, you've put in so much effort to not be late. It's, it, it'll be fine. You're doing great. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I'm learning like what can go wrong. Okay. Oh. Alright, we're behind schedule. Everybody, this bag here it is. So, I'm gonna use this as one of the spare coal bags, and then we're gonna grab two more bags between us, and I'm gonna put it in the spare storage bin. Here, I'm going to put the spare coal in there too. All so right. we've got your coal that we're going to throw into the train straight away, and that should last us about half an hour. <clears throat> Are those people still around? Uh, I just saw one gentleman waiting by that horse. So it might be a little bit difficult to see the bag because it goes kind of flimsy on the floor, but if <laughs> you can pick that up for me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got it. All right. Now we're going to use one of them as a spare one and one of them as like an active one. Because the, the, they burn the bags as well. I don't know why they do it. But... Excuse me. Okay. So, hello? Hello there. Where might you folk be heading to? Um, well, that's actually the next step of what we were going to discuss. We were probably going to go to Rhodes, though, and St. Denis, or Valentine. Which way would you prefer to go? Hmm. I was actually heading up towards Rhodes myself. Then we can go to Rhodes. Easy peasy. Wonderful. Let me tell my horse to follow. Okay, just make sure you don't have a long arm. Of course. Wonderful. Okay, so you're going to put that coal in the bag now, and then pass me the bag. Uh, do I need to put the bag down to put the coal in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you don't have to. You can do it standing like that. I'm just going to close the door in there whilst you're doing that. Oh. Yep. All right, did you do it? Uh, yes, the coal is in the bag. All right, now put the bag down and I'll put it in the engine and then we'll get moving. Here we are. <laughs> All right, Earl, here's your coal. Pouring it in now. Okay, Earl took the coal from the other storage. I didn't know that. All right. Earl's, Earl's a behind. real troublemaker. Okay. My bad. All right. So now we're going to declare that we're leaving. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, you don't have to do it exactly like I do it, but... Uh-huh. <clears throat> Sorry, I've just got to wet my whistle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Next stop is potentially roads. <laughs> Let me check the switches. Next stop is definitely roads. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. disaster so far. Oh, it, it's good because then I can learn 
what can go wrong and, and what to look out for. So it's, it's almost like a blessing in disguise. All right. We're doing well. Okay. So usually when we take off, we can do security checks on the train, just go around, make sure everyone's okay, especially if customers are... are I guess guests, passengers, whatever you want to use, are sort of waiting in other areas. Oh, did I hear Hi. someone? Oh, hello. Hello. Do I you want to get on the train? Uh, that's okay. Thank you. Hello. Would you like me to do a security check? Why don't we walk down together? We can do that. Sounds like a plan. Oh, knows when to speak. oh knows. He knows what I like now. We've we've gotten to know each other a little bit. You know he crochets. People don't suspect that. Oh really? Yeah. I well, yeah, everybody's got to have a hobby. Hi there, just making sure everything's okay. Um just, I've got a trainee here, so I'm going to give you the safety speech that I usually give to everybody, but I'm not doing it to condescend you, I'm doing it to train. Is that okay? Wonderful. I love safety. <laughs> okay, so there are two places on the train that you can never enter and you shall not pass. It is the tiny cabin at the back. It's otherwise known as the boost. There's all sorts of important things back there to the transit authority, so please don't go back there because it's also unsafe. And at the very front of the train, there is a coal bin. For some reason, people like climbing on top of it, but it is hot. And you will hurt yourself, so please don't do that. And it will be more paperwork for me. And I will be very upset if you give me paperwork. <laughs> nobody likes paperwork. Nobody. Nobody. What kind of uh, important things are in the back of the train, anyway? Like... Toilet paper. And <laughs> oh my god. Other stuff. Earl keeps his per Earl sleeps back there. It's all his personal stuff. Somebody told me they keep important documents back there sometimes. Oh, I don't know about that. Any important hmm. document. Uh, <laughs> the only important documents I keep on me these days is my diary, so I know what I'm doing throughout the week. Mm hmm. Schedule. I try to keep anyway. to a schedule, but usually I'm late. Like today, we are 14 minutes over schedule right now, so, you know. That's rough. I'm usually no later than 15 minutes, so I, I think I'm on time more than anything. But not today. Well, we no, we're <laughs> within 15 minutes. Well, that's pretty good. So, uh, you folks' names, anyway, I don't think I've seen you around. Oh, well, I'm Peggy. Peggy. Hello, uh, Albert. Peggy and Albert. Or Thomas. Oh, pleasure to meet you. A pleasure. So, your first day on the job, my Al. Oh, just about. I started last week. Oh, I see. This is one of those, uh training trains I keep hearing about. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. I think I could get a tour of the course. I don't think I've ever actually seen it before. I mean, no. I just gave you the whole safety speech. It's unsafe, <laughs> and it's Earl's room. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh, if we come up to a stop, we kind of have to go a little bit slower, so let me see where we are. Ba -ba 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 I don't know, he seems nice. Maybe we could give him a little tour. Well, what, what what do you think Earl would think? Would he be all right with it? I mean, see if Earl's tidied up or not. <laughs> We're really not supposed to let people back here. Could he just poke his head in from outside? Just take a glance? No, it just it doesn't really seem safe, you know? I can't really give you a tour of that, but I could try and... Oh, Earl, stop! This is Riggs! Oh. Okay, he understands. He understood. 
<laughs> okay, I can't give you a tour of the back, mm. but I could show you inside one of our transit offices. Mm, I suppose that would work. Sure. Okay, well, we'll get moving towards unless anybody's here. <laughs> States Crossing Transit Authority, next stop will be Rhodes. Hi there, are you interested in boarding the train today to Rhodes? Oh, look at that, he's, he's reading his telegram, Mr. Thomas. Mm, I see. All right, we're just going to go. Well, you said one of your uh, transit offices, huh? The next one's Rhodes. This one doesn't have one that we have uh, access to, unfortunately. I see, I see. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> That'd be fascinating. <laughs> well, why don't you come up here and I'll show you how we signal to Earl. i got a bad feeling sure. about this. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> oh! This is where we keep the money. Oh, yeah, yeah that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to let Albert do it. No! Oh. I'm going to watch from a master. He's going to become a master now. So we're going to take oh, off? Yeah. Yep, tell Earl to go. All right, Earl! Oh! Uh. Tell That's a sick one. I've ever seen one. He's good, isn't he? Not bad. But is it, is it as good as the whistle? Whistle is pretty good. It's a very nice touch. It is a good touch. <laughs> Always like this country. Jesus. Makes your ears pop leaving it though. It's definitely different to what I'm used to back home. Uh huh? Where you're from? Oh, uh, the uh, busy, busy old town of London, back in England. Ah, uh, across the pond though. Yes, it's a, there's a lot, lot more fresh air here, that's for sure. In most places. Oh, look at that view. Fantastic. How many sats prettier than flat iron? I like going a little bit slower over here sometimes, but some people get scared of it. Hmm. But is this a good speed for you both? Yes. You know, there's a lot of islands out on the flat iron. All kind of people make the residence there. All kind of people. What, what, what? I suppose they just live off fish out there? Anything they can get, I suppose. We do? Where? Oh, I think you have a keen eye because I didn't see anything. I was just writing down my diary. The woman with a bow on her back riding a horse watching. Ah. So we're coming up to flat next, so we want to take it easy just because, um, there are people here that work here in and out and stuff. Oh, yes.
way. I might get a get a, a, sta a stream deck just so I can hotkey all these um. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Did I get the switches right? Looks like. All right, or I'll pick it up a little bit, shall we? Let's get us to Rhodes. We've hauled up poor Thomas already. Thomas, what is it that you do in the crossing? That's not a big question. Between work? Something like that. Yeah. I'm <laughs> a... Entrepreneur, I suppose. Ah, you've got a keen eye for traveling at all? Travel a good bit. Do you what? like transit? Sure. Love the trains. Love the carriages. It's always nice to see. I've actually spent a good bit of time on trains. Our next stop is Rhodes! Please don't ride on the tracks! Because we're about to speed up! Oh no, just I just worked worked down at the the railroad in such in, in London just carting things around, never driving the train, so that's why I'm here to hopefully do more exciting work like this. That's Quite really it. I did a little uh, stage coach in my time. Never riding no train though. Driving on. I'm terrible at coach riding. I'm so scared I'm gonna just ride straight off a cliff because I lose control. I'm a bit of a wagoneer myself. No, I did have a trainee have an incident once. Oh? Oh, yeah. Poor kid. You know, we were training him up and he done. He rode the thing almost smack dab off the cliff. I thought the poor woman inside was gonna sue us. She was all right, though. Oh, dear. How does somebody survive falling off a cliff in a wagon? I suppose it was a sturdy wagon. <laughs> well, in my defense, I did warn her to jump. He was a trainee after all. Though, so maybe it's better she stayed inside. I did. I think the crunch of the wagon broke most of the fall. I feel, like, I feel like if somebody would have hurt you, they would have jumped. That's what I thought, so I thought it was my confusion. So maybe, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> that would be terrifying. Yeah, I was certainly terrified we'd catch a manslaughter charge, and then who knows what the company would have done. But it all turned out all right. It seemed like she had a really good sense of humor about it. <laughs> right, well, you know, we're coming up to Rhodes, so I can show you a little bit inside the office. Oh yeah, dear. Sounds great. Uh, oh I no. I can't read anything. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. But you know, we have a lot of job opportunities with the um, Transit Authority at the moment. Is that right? Yeah, we're desperate for more security personnel, let me tell you, especially with what we've got going on this month. Oh my goodness. The economy's been tough. That's for sure. A lot of security details coming up, huh? Trying to 
trying to at the very least. I'm not really much skill with a with a, a weapon. So Yeah, yeah. Well me either. I only just Goodness, I only just learned how to hold a a revolver for the first time last week. Oh you ought to not play with guns or nasty stuff anyway. Especially not educated people like you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I would call myself educated. A lot of stuck in the working class back home, just day in, day out, just trying to make get by. Black blood of America, transit. It's all connected. It's marvelous to think you could be in one location at the start of the day get a jolly good train ride and then you're somewhere else by by dinner time <laughs> it boggles the mind that's for sure at least it's honest living not like all these brigands lawmen around oh there they are oh your friends turned up oh hello all right, Albert, what, what what do we do when we get to the train station? Oh, we make another announcement. All right, I'll blow for you. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to blow for you. Ready? Oh, I blow up. <laughs> Saints oh, Crossing you. Transit Authority. Heading uh, east uh, heading on the eastern line to Ansburg within the next Saint couple Denis. of minutes. We're going to go to St. Denis and then we're going to go to Valentine. Uh, St. Denis oh. en route to Valentine. Leaving yeah. momentarily. All right, we'd, we'd like three tickets, mister. All right, it's three dollars each, and it's all going to Mr. Albert here. Three dollars each, so that's that. What's that? Let me, oh, I'm sorry. Let me pop down for I'm you. A, is that professional to jump over the goddamn railing? I'm going up to oh, I've got to just stretch my leg. Fair enough. All right, nine dollars. Right, okay, I'm going to check our tip line. And a cup Actually, of coffee, because I know you're very stressed. Give everyone a tour of the office. Sure. That's very kind Thank of you, God. sir. You three fellas, jump aboard. We'll be we'll be leaving soon. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, I, I, I oh, forgot to inform you. If you could please stow your get long arm. Right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stay on the train. That lady's scaring me. Yeah, she's gonna mean a lot too, there, fella. Well, she's she's had a very busy day, and she's got to deal with training me. So she's she got a lot on her mind. Uh, that must be a real problem there. Quite tense, I think. She's very tense. Right, very, very tense. On the stain, training you seems like it must be a bother. Oh, What's it's... your name, mister? Uh, my name is Albert. Albert Groves, at your service. Beautiful name, mister Albert. I'm Jacob. That's all right. Nice to meet you. And where yeah. are you fellas off to today? Probably about the Valentine's Day. Do you see a silver horse around? No. No, we ain't seen no horse now. Oops, shit. Sorry. Oh, well, yeah, we, we gonna go Valentine. Oh, oh yes. The Valentine, you know. Yeah, wait. We got to do a little bit of woodwork there. Oh yeah, good bit of work. And have you ever been to the uh, the bathhouse there? Oh uh, no, I've been there no, once, no, once, no, once, no, once myself to try to suck my toes. Is it what? Yeah. Toes. They like to they like to clean your toes with their mouth. Oh God! I don't want that to happen to me. No, no, no. They try to do it. Says a special package, but I wasn't gonna go with it. You know. I am not having anyone suck my toes. Glad I didn't nah, select nah, nah. that package last time. By, they, they, mm -hmm. there was a there was a man dressed as a rug, and then there was another man that was dancing. All right, well, we it was quite a it was, it was it was like a a, a theater in the bath. No, oh, that's not stuff. I yeah, I had theater in the bath once too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually went to Thailand. I remember a long time ago. I went there as well. And that's when I got my theater. They're talking about a wear pig. A what? A were pig, right, like a werewolf, like a lock and but a pig. Get, like, like a man that turns into a pig? Yeah, half pig, half man. man Good. Bear pig. What? Pig without the bear. Just the man pig. Uh, do I have anything? I don't know, that's what they were saying. They were saying the were pig was gonna come out and there was people on onking. Onk, onk, onk. Suey. All over the goddamn play. I don't know what we were doing. We were just kind of there. What are you doing? I was just there getting fucking oh, no. cleaned up and they stopped talking about were pigs and hunting me down and turning me into a were pig. I don't want to be no goddamn were pig. Were pigs? Yeah, were pigs. That's what they're talking about. It's the goddamn mare, too. Cabbage. Hey, mister. Cabbage. 
Good day. I think I think your friend's being 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 robbed and held up inside inside this. What swarm. the fuck? Shit. What? Are you? Oh my god, she she's got her hands up. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need your help rescuing my trainer. Uh, I can't do that. That would be a crime. That would be that would be that would be a crime, sir. That'd be a crime. Peggy, you all right? That's Tom, um, tell him you're all right. I'm okay. What's going on in there? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. No sheriffs need to be notified of anything. What's happening? You're cleaning the robbed in there. So, so. I know. He's got a gun in his hand while he's reading telegram. Who is that fella? Big issue. She's saying that definitely no lawmen need to be alerted about anything suspicious going on here. All right, Dad. We won't okay, alert we'll, any okay, lawmen. We'll just wait here, then. We'll, we'll just, just stay here. here and we're just going to stand right here and just do nothing like you said there, fella. There must be good. There must be good. There might be a little problem. Yo. Yes, yeah, definitely. Joke. Definitely do joke. not alert the I'm authorities. Like Come on. Okay, we, we heard you the first time, fella. We're not going to do fella, nothing, right? Keep telling us, but it goes I mean, we, we, know, we, we understand English. What the fuck? You have something in your eye, Stop mister. You I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if you do. Because it's, it's very concerning how you three are... Thank you. <laughs> ...definitely look like you're wanting to race off and alert the lawman when I've said definitely do... Right. Not, not go, do oh, that. He's gone. He's we gone. I'm going go to the first time. Like, he's he's go to the sheriff's department Mr. right now. Right. right now. Right now. <laughs> bro, go, bro. Oh. Sheriffs. Is there any sheriff's in town? Why is there so many dogs? Look out! Sir! Is there a sheriff in the house? Hello? Is there, is there any lawman here? Hello? This is Albert Groves of the Transit Authority. I need help. I need help right now. Hello? Maybe the parlor. Ba 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 Hello? <laughs> Is there any lawman in here? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I just walked in myself. Uh, I'm sorry to come. I'm sorry to come barging in. It's just we've had a, a little incident down at the train station. I, I desperately need a sheriff. Oh. Okay. We just had um, an incident here. We, just, yes, um, we had one here too. We also need law. I was about to oh. go to the telegram station mm. to. Were you robbed? A... Yes. She was. Yeah. But was it a was it a, a young man with a hat? He was blonde. I think it was another uh, man with a hat. And was a, did he a say girl. his name was Jimmy? Mm, I don't no. think so. No. Or Thomas. Was he wearing a white shirt with a a bluish top hat? Mm, no. That doesn't sound familiar. But Kevin, yeah, the, the mm. man Thomas, he just robbed my trainer down at the, the train station. I better get back there, see if I can find Lorman. Be safe! Oh, goodness oh. gracious! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, I got back as quick as I could. There's no law in town! Well, you think we dumb or something? We don't know how to listen to directions. Are you alright, right, miss? Just, yeah, let's just check the call and we'll get out of here. Can I ask you what information you gave him? You can? Will you tell me? You well, tell you can him? ask. What did you tell him? Hey, what I did can't you tell, tell you. Bye. Oh, no, that's, that's, yeah. oh my god! They did say, can I ask? And I said yes. 
I can't believe that. I, I, f I, I thought I should follow you inside, but I thought I'd better keep an eye on these gentlemen on the train. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, he just threatened to. Thomas, really? Oh, dear. Interesting. All right, let's get moving. Saints crossing trans authority. Next up, we'll be safe today. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Going to send me. That's what I want to do. Perfect. Hopefully, you definitely will want to do now. Oh, look at that. Why would you repeat yourself over and over again? Yeah, no, we understood you, fella. We did you have something to do? No, but because I was winking, I meant the opposite of what I was saying. Well, that's classic British lingo. Yeah, I'm not. I'm British. I, I, no, I don't think so. He was winking. I thought he You're had something British? in his eye. I thought he was no. coming out to me. Yes. I'll be honest. No, so I was saying, don't. Like, so I was saying, I mean, I'm, I'm don't saying inform the law, but I was know. doing a big, yeah, wink like. First that time. that means what? to to do the opposite of what I'm saying. I also when thought rolls, you were being really flirtatious as well. I, I honestly thought that you were just trying to pick us up. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm nah, working. I I'm at work. work. I'm not. Hey, it doesn't matter. You can do a little flirting while you're working. Yeah. There, ain't, there ain't no law against flirting There's while no, working. No, exactly. I mean, she was getting robbed while she was working. Wife. That's that's a worse thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wow. You should, should make it more obvious, fella. You I know. You, you, so you just kept if, telling us not if, to do something. You think we don't do that? If I make it too obvious, the, the, the fellow in there, I didn't want him to hurt. Peggy here. Stop, stop giving my trainee a hard time. We're not giving him a hard time. We're not giving him a hard time. We're not giving him a hard time. We're worried about him at all. We're worried. He had something I in his eye. I thought he had an eye. I don't know if he needs us to get it cleaned out. Do you need a medic? Have you got pink eye? A pink guy. No, I was... Oh, no. Stay away from me here. I don't want those goddamn pink eye. There's yeah, nothing in my eye. Yeah, go to the back. What? We just have him. What's wrong, Peggy? We're talking about a national conversation. Why are you angry at us, Peggy? What are we doing? No, we paid out three dollars. Frustrated, I just got robbed. Sorry about that. It wasn't, it wasn't our fault, Mother, that you got robbed of information. <laughs> we're just, we're just humble There's an auction coming training. up, and now an that auction? criminal knows, and now another criminal knows about it. What auction? It's me. I'm the auction prize. It's my first date with the cat house. <laughs> oh, goodness <laughs> Christ! How much people paying? What is a cat house auction? That's what he wanted to. Do. Is it, like a, is it like a date? Yes! Oh? Oh, interesting. Okay. How much you worth? What date is it? Oh, well, no one knows. What date is it? I can't remember. I think we said the 19th. I should probably write it down, actually. Actually, now that I'm here. Well, god damn it, I didn't realize you'd be robbed. You, 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 you. I just thought, uh, thought it was like a friend playing a practical joke. I thought you guys were doing some theater for us. I would think. Oh, I That's a the very severe know. practical joke to be brandishing a gun like that. Make jokes well, to be fair, the yeah. guy was like he had his arms crossed and was holding a gun. I thought that was a bit weird. I didn't he's think like, he was actually threatening me properly. He was like right in the telegram hand. He ain't hold gun at the same time, it's little. Also, you initially told us to intervene. That would be vigilantism. We're, we're, we're that, lawful that, people. We're not people. Yeah, we ain't gonna commit I'm not, I'm I'm not suggesting... He didn't ask you to intervene. He did. he did. He did. He said, you've got to help me get her out of there and get your gun. I just thought we might go block the door or something. No, no. That, Albert, you can't do that. You just have to get the deputies. Oh, right. That's, that's called vigilantism, Albert. It's a crime. I wasn't asking you to run in there and tackle him. Just, I don't go know, maybe it. take on a more... Honest. A stronger stance. All right, so we just start. Don't they? Oh shit! No, no, guns, guns away, away, guns away, guns away. Not guns done away. with the gun. Sorry. Just, you know, it's just. Not loaded. No, it's not loaded. you can't do that. You have to get deputies if a situation like that happens. What if I watch you and like this next Especially time? Especially whilst you're a trainee, okay? You bastard! I understand, man. Look out! Look out! Look out! When, when, my when you right pass now. your training, yeah. we'll go through the security stuff, okay? Yeah. That's all. I understand this. Don't try robber again, you wee bastard. 
Yeah, you see that? Look at the little muscle. But like someone who did a lot of mining and painting in his life, I'll tell you that. Oh, that's exactly Okay, we're actually not going to stop in St. Denis. No, oh. we're not. Unless you guys want to get off in St. Denis, but it's so busy here. Valentine. Yeah, let's go all the way around. Look where we're, we're happy, we're happy to go around to Valentine. We say a no no to St. Denis. Yeah, we didn't say no 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 St. Denis, tell you that. Didn't. Well, I know where those people are. Do you, you know where those people are? I don't know anybody here. I wonder what that guy was. That I only know you, Jimmy. I only you. know you. Did you get a name of that fellow who robbed you? Because I would tell the lore if you tell me. I've, I've already I've already told them. His name is Thomas. Thomas what? I didn't get a Sarah name, just Thomas. Thomas. Hey, Southern never mentioned American it. American accent, thick mustache. Dress is kind of like a cowboy. Between jobs? Yes. This is like a cowboy. Yeah. Yes, Jimmy. Southern accent. All right. Thank you, mate. If I ever see him again, I'll make sure the learner knows about it. Yeah, real good enough. Jacob, 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 come here real quick. Jacob. All oh, right. Yeah. Jacob, 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 come here real quick. I'll talk to you about. All about right. So. We're just gonna, uh, St. Denis is a very hard one to stop at. I'm gonna stop for a second so I can change the switch to take us to Valentine. Oh, he is. Just for a moment. Don't wish we weren't stopping here, and now we are stopping here. Really, they say. Oh, people are getting on. Hey, fella. Don't forget to click your favors and tell them where we're going. Do your training. Do your training, mister. Keep your eye on those people. Come back. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome here? aboard. Hello. How are you doing? How's it going? Going very well. Uh, it's just uh, $3 per ticket. Uh, this guy's paying. He in the red. What are you talking about? You're the one who just said you were rich. Get the fuck out I'll, I'll, I'll pay for the well, Hold on. How do we know this guy's even a ticket master? Yeah, you don't look. You look nothing like a ticket master, actually. <laughs> you don't look <laughs> like extra. transit authority. Hi there. The she does. Hey, is this guy Transit Authority? Yeah. Oh, he is. He's a what? trainee, yeah. He's one of really? my trainees. I'm Peggy. He's That's not why he doesn't have a uniform. uniform hey, because Peggy. he's a trainee. Um, okay. I'm going to have to get the train moving as soon as possible. Are you waiting for anybody else? No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get the train going. They are good to go. They're good to go. Okay. Thank you very much. Listen, Enjoy yeah, the ride. Hey, okay, Joe. Thank you. Who is this? Welcome aboard! Hello, uh, I'm, I'm Ruth, hi. She's Ruth, she almost killed me. Nice Welcome aboard, Ruth. My name is Albert Groves. I'm a recent trainee here with the Transit Authority. I'm acting ticket master. It's just uh, $3 ah. per fare today. Right, perfect. Here we go. have paid. And, oh, I don't know why, but you are really, you feel really far away. It's hard. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to do it with the train moving. It's oh, really no, hard. take your time. No rush. Um, can you reach out to me? Oh, yeah. You seem further away than you actually are. Yes. Um, as soon as the train stops, I'll, I'll pay you. Sorry. No, that's all right, Ruth. That's all right. I'm, I'm very new to. With doing any Sorry, ticket mastering. Sorry, trains get super slippy when they're moving, but I had to get us moving, but we will be stopping in Valentine, so... Yeah, I can, I can try to be there. Don't worry, I, I'm, I'm good for it. I have $11. <laughs> All right, Albert, why don't you give her the safety speech? 
All right, Miss Ruth. Now, I don't mean to come across as condescending or anything if you've ridden the train before, but just just for your safety, the, the coal cart at the front of the train, please do not go climbing on that. As much as, as fun as it would be to have a vantage point up there, it can be very dangerous, and we don't want anyone slipping over and getting hurt. And then also, you'll notice there's a carriage all the way down at the very back. Uh, that one is actually private. We have things stored there, and that is where Earl, the train driver, sleeps. So it would be very rude if we went and just bothered him in his house, so to speak. So, yes, please don't go down there either. And uh, just please make sure to keep all legs and arms on the train. And uh, and uh, oh. just careful not to slip yeah. off, I suppose. Yes, I definitely want to keep all my arms and legs on the train. What's happening? Yeah, what's going uh, on over here? Are you picking on this what's happening? in the blue? Don't pick on these people. Um, no, we're just giving you a safety, safety speech. speech. Oh, oh, this is right. my first train ride, so... Oh, yeah, we didn't, I, we, I didn't you didn't give us no goddamn speech. safety speech. We saw you get robbed. Well, d you why kept talking over me, so why would I give you a safety okay, speech? Okay, everyone Sorry. calm down. Uh, let's freestyle. Miss Peggy, please could you share the safety speech? Of course. Albert, do you want to give it again? Uh, did I cover everything? You did. So there are two places in the train that you are not to go to, which is the caboose, which is the tiny train at the back, and the coal car at the front. Right, the coal cart, you will burn yourself and it will be silly. And the, the place at the back is very unsafe. You could fall out. Right, we don't want to fall out of the train. It's a, it's a funny name, Caboose. Caboose is funny. It's a funny name. Mr. Alba. Yes? So what is, is everybody's name? name? My name is Jackson. Jacob. Jimmy. Jackson, Jacob, and... Jimmy. Albert. I'm just going to go make sure Albert. that the men in suits are the safety speech. Albert, can I, can I ask you something? Because I'm going to send a, a telegram hey, uh, about a statement about what happened to Mrs. Penny. Yes. Peggy. And I, did you hear anything important that I might want to put in that statement, like a date or anything like that? No, I didn't hear any specifics. I just remember he said his name was Thomas. He was between work. Thomas. And yes, he kept asking about, oh, what's stored at the in the caboose? And... And, right, right, and Peggy right. said, well, we can't show you anything in the caboose, but I can show you, give you a tour of one of our officers. And he, he was very uh, what did he say? intrigued about that. It was just, did, he give, did, did she give him any, like, times or dates of anything? Not not that I'm aware auction? of, no. An auction or something? No, she uh, she just... Yeah, no no specifics at all from her. Oh, I see. I see. It would be very important for the paperwork. I don't want to lie to the lawman. Oh god, no. No, I imagine not. I definitely don't want to leave them. Zach could come back to bite you, for sure. Exactly. I'm over here. Oh, yes. Pardon? I'm asking if you're a single fella. Oh, well, yes. Okay, good to know. Uh, my, my friend there behind us, he's got very well, very well defined glutes. What's a glute? Don't know. <laughs> but they, but they are whatever they are. They are well defined. Yes. Oh, I suppose that that would be a good thing. It would be a good thing. You should talk to him. He's an interesting man. Oh, you're all quite interesting. I, what what do you all do for work? We're bank tellers. Oh, would not have guessed that. No, sir. Including yeah, the fellow with the uh, the animal head? Oh, yeah, it's just day off today, so we, we regularly we do the, the bank tellers. We get robbed a lot, so we understand what it's like. Right. I see. Goodness. Uh, so oh, so what, do you ex what exactly do you do as a bank teller? Well, normally we take it in accounts. When we start there, people come in and they say, I'd like to put in $100 and put it into our account. We get in the number, we stamp the card. And now uh, we put it back into the safes. Make sure it's nice and secure for them. Most of the things in the bank, though, is like, uh, what are the cash in bags, you see? You know, the bank bonds and the gold is actually what is the wealth you know, of the country. So all, all of your, your dollars that you carry around is just equivalent to a piece of gold in the bank. Right! Oh! I had no idea that's how it worked. Right. So your, your, your dollar is a promise that you have a share of the gold that's kept in the bank. Ah, I see. Right. That's why we have to keep it very safe. People do try to steal the gold sometimes, you fucking bastards. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah, I know, dirty fuckers. It's not their gold to take, is it? 
It's not their goal to take us all. Bastard. Leave it be, I say. Put it back. Prick. Yeah, if it's not yours, leave it alone. Exactly, sir. Exactly. Goodness gracious. Some people... Do. They need to pick up... Uh, they need to pick up some honest employment. I agree with you, sir. I mean, being a bank teller has been one of the finest things I've ever done. My wife loves that I'm a bank teller. She always says to me, you know, be careful, Jacob, because you might get killed in here because of bank robbers and things. But I can't stop doing it. I do it for the people. <laughs> I work as a bank teller. <laughs> Sounds like an honest profession. There's, Did he say no. something about his ear? And he said all three of you are bank tellers. All three of us are bank tellers, Jim. Bank teller here, bank teller there. Yeah, d d d d different banks around the, around the crossing. He's he's Blackwater. Oh, yeah. oh, he is. That, that's Valentine, obviously. Good looking at him, he's Valentine. I'm right. Oh, very good. And so this is sort of like a, a work getaway. That's is right. That, so we might have a day off. Day off. Yeah. From telling banks what and to uh, do. What was it you said you had planned in Valentine? It would work. Oh, exactly. Well, one of the banks I've hit recently and the floorboards are really, really messed up. And the government doesn't pay for it. Neither the deputies. What? So I got a bunch of nails. Exactly. So we've been going out and some sanding equipment and some nails to repair that. Because they, they, they blow up the fucking bank, bank in there. They blow it up? They blow it up. Dynamite, they yeah, up. dynamite on the floor. Who do you think doors while the bank box? It's us. I suppose so. The doors. Goodness. It comes out of my wages every fucking time. Every time. Every they time. don't... You have to repair the floorboards yourself. Goodness. Yes, sir. Yes, That's ridiculous. That seems a little unfair. It's a tough job, master. It really is. It's not just the floorboards. It's the painting. It's all the furniture that gets damaged. All right, we're back. It's, it's the big metal door as well. We've got, to, we've got to put it back on. Sometimes they break the safes as well. And I... I, I don't know how they even do it. What how the hell do you break a safe? One time Wait, I went who, who's breaking the safe now? You're talking about these fucking robbers while we're trying to yeah, get their jobs exactly. and One time I went into the back room and someone had a safe right. And I was like, what's wrong with this safe? It feels, it feels weird. And there was a hole drilled into it and they filled it with water. Who does that? Well, they was was safe water? Everything was still in there. Just full of water. God dang. Oh, Goodness Christ. A safe of water. We're doing quite good there, Peggy. How you doing? After, after someone hit the, hit the bank and you... Oh, I went into the vault, put in one of the safes, big no, steaming dump. A shit. A shit it's in a, shit. a safe. That's not very good. Who does that? Who takes a shit in a safe? How do they even get their leg up that high? That's what I'm asking. And, uh, how are you finding the uh, your first train ride, Miss Ruth? Um, it's it's lovely. Uh, good company and beautiful scenery. Yes, yeah, quiet. Best. I better check in with Peggy, company, see if there's anything else I can be doing to help. How oh, damn is coming, I'll tell you. How are we looking, Miss Peggy? We're looking good. We're going to go to Valentine. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to put the train back up in Wallace, but I can write okay. feedback for you. And, um, you know, I, I think you two are very good at what you're doing so far. And I'm, I'm going to recommend that you move on to the next stage of your training. You've done enough riding logs now. Oh, really? Oh. Um, I, yeah, I just, so I hope I'm... Decision type thing. So, uh, so uh, as I understand it. Oh, that's all right. Well, if, if anyone else suggests that I require more ride-alongs, that's fine with me. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at the clothes. That train just almost ran away from me. I was a little nervous there for a minute. Like, hell, what are you doing? Interesting. The engine's not actually burnt any of the coal I've put into it. Really? Yeah, I'm very... What? What the hell's the train been running on, Earl? I think, I think I'm the issue, if I'm honest. No, certainly, certainly not. Oh, 
Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Hang on. Hey, Mrs. Phenom. Well, I hope I'm doing stuff right. It's hard to remember everything, but a lot of it is common sense. Are we getting robbed? No, 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 no. There's just a slight train malfunction. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to get robbed. We're not going to get robbed. I just need to figure out something. Just, just stay up, on the train. It? Everything's fine. Peggy's great. There's going to be someone that yep. comes out from the bushes right second. <laughs> yep, Trans Earth always robbing this guy's robbing his plane. <laughs> you, know you know that coal is warm? It's a setup. They have warm coal. <laughs> Oh, Miss Peggy, the uh, uh, the the money I've been taking for fares is there somewhere I deposit that? It's your money. Um, oh, we're gonna have to get this train back to Wallace as soon as possible. All right. Anything to break? Could you just step back a tiny bit? You're standing on a coal bag. Oh, sorry. I want to make sure we save these, um, but everyone's going to get kicked off at Valentine. So what happened is either when I went to take a little uh, time for myself earlier or um, somebody might have gotten a wagon out, what's happened is the train is no longer registered to the tracks oh. in the paperwork. So that means nobody's... It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But we just need to take it back. Um, right. But that's why it's not burning the coal. So... <laughs> Alright everybody, we're going to Valentine and then after that, that'll be our last stop. So everybody's got to get off in Valentine, I'm afraid. I There's a slight train malfunction, so we need everybody off the train in Valentine. Put your fucking hand on the book and swear. Your name is Jimmy, James, or Jack, whatever it was, Jackson. Yeah, so it can get a little bit troublesome sometimes, so... But I think I might be the issue, to be honest. No! No! Oh, department, how's it going? Oh, oh it's dear. good! There's a slight malfunction with the train, okay. so we're going to take it back to Valentine, kicking everybody off, and we've got to get it back to Wallace. Okay, um, there are two people that look like they're hiding out on the back of your train. That's out. Oh, we... stop the goddamn train! Save us, Mr. Deputy, save us! Yeah, save us, please. I don't know what's going on. Praise Jesus, yeah, save, save us. Save us, Deputy Rider. And, and, oh, I've never met you before. God, Ryder is such a beautiful bastard. I would just ravage him. I'm so sorry. It just looks like there's people on the train. I think so. I knew he was getting robbed. <laughs> I knew he was getting robbed. Oh, careful. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everybody back on the train. Oh my god. We're learning a lot today. Gotta to find my happy place. We're fine. Alright, I'm so sorry about the delay, everybody. There were people on the back of the train, apparently. But thankfully, the sheriff's department Why came did along. Why Because there's a malfunction with the train, so I need to take us slowly back to Valentine as quickly as possible, so... And then I'm kicking everybody off there, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. That's okay. It's out of your hands. It's all good. Thank you. I'm so sorry. There's, there's a lot of stuff in your hands, though. I'm just saying. I, I know there's a lot of stuff in my hands. It's very hard to carry it all. You look like a very busy professional woman. If, Thank if, you. I appreciate that. That's very kind from another... <laughs> if you need me to carry woman. anything, miss, I'm happy to help. No, these are my things. <laughs> how humble he is. Be a great These are my you're things. Guy. You're in any condition to be <laughs> traveling about. <laughs> oh, oh dear. It's funny. 
Like Zach Mac is here. <laughs> what a great training session. But it's good, eh, Steve? There's there's a lot of um. It, it's it's really surprising, like the amount of people that they're, they're really creative. It's really exciting, and because they're from different like, it's people from England, like Europe and America. Like it's they they're different in a, in some little ways. So it's um, it's cool. It's it's um. It's keeping me on my toes that I gotta like, I gotta put in the work. Gotta meet him, meet him halfway. Yes, I'm happy to recommend you to the next stage of training. That's very um, kind of you, Miss, as long as you're sure. You. Yeah, a lot of this job is learning it as you're doing it, and we yeah, sort of do these ride-alongs to not not sort of teach you, as it were, but for you to teach us about you. No, really. Oh, yes. just make sure that you're a right fit, and I think you're a perfect fit. So um, I'm going to recommend you to the next stage of training, and what I would like from you, we're going to slow down a little bit here, is... um. In the, you got a little guidebook when you started, is that right? Uh, oh, I don't think I received a book. I see. Well, when I recommend you for the next stage of training, if everybody thinks that you, you pass through, which shouldn't be a problem, um, you'll receive a little handbook, and when you get that, it'll have the uniform in there. So just grab a uniform um, as, soon as, you get, as soon as you can and get that book. So when you're ready to do the next stage of your training, you've got, like a, you've got a uniform all good to go and everything. Uh, because that's usually when I do my last... Because you'll have some other training and then you'll have one last train ride with someone before you can do solo trains. Ah, yes. How so exciting. So I like to have people in uniform. So you once you get that uniform, you can get that uniform. And then after that, you can make a uniform a bit like mine. That's the colours of the SCTA, but more personalised to you. Uh -huh. But I like people to have like a, a proper uniform as well. Like, yes, of course. There's nothing wrong with having it personalised. It's all in the handbook. Oh, very good. I'm... I'm thrilled, Miss. It's it's been a pleasure. It's been a hell of a it's been a hell of a ride along. I know. I'm so sorry. This doesn't usually go like this. No. This has just been a crazy night. For it's me. not your fault. Hi everyone. I'm so sorry about the disturbance of the ride. I am gonna have to ask everyone to get off just due to we had somebody. Uh, here's your three. Dollars. We, we had somebody damage the tracks this week as well. Also, it's really thrown right. the trains all out. So it I apologize, was... everyone. So much fun. Somebody service. put dynamite on the tracks. Thank you very much, week, Miss Ruth. So... Sorry about that. Was, Thank you. Was there people Thanks hitting on the back of the train trying to rob you it? You just can't get the staff. Apparently, yeah. We will have happened they didn't rob it. Thank God for those deputies. Can't get the service, <laughs> can't get the staff. Albert. Well, you're always you're welcome to bastard. apply. 
Pleasure meeting you, Peggy. Have a lovely Have a nice day. Have a lovely day. I'm in love with you, Albert. <laughs> oh my god. What a funny bunch. Oh dear. Oh, it's awesome. Get recommended for the next stage. That'd be, that's exciting. It's fun. <laughs> it's different. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, but if you ever do have any questions, um, you're welcome to take my telegram. I might have telegrammed you already. Have I telegrammed you before? What was your last name again? Royal. Peggy Royal. Ah! Uh, I do not recall. Um, I'll, I'll note it down. It's a Peggy Royal. Yes. Yep. R-O-Y-A-L-E. Uh, oh, with an E, yes. And then the, uh, um, the telegram. Is DM for directing manager. Which I'm not, but that's what these six <laughs> people came up with. Yes. Um, zero three four DM zero three four. Right, I'll I'll jot that down. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, it's. Uh... I've got a lot of paperwork to tidy up, so I think I'm going to stay at Wallace and do that. Um, there are other transit officers on duty, though, so you are welcome to link up with them and get more guidance. Because I know flood dust wagons. I do passenger trains. That's my speciality. Is passenger trains and today hot air balloons um so that's kind of what i focus on i know that rio is around and she does like more storage trains than passenger trains uh -huh. that's very good now like i've learned so much like there's a lot of cons consistencies but then there's some um, seeing like what you do bobby mr flood uh miss worth it's it's everyone's given me little bits of new bits of information it's been great yeah and once you get your other training it will make a lot more sense what we've done today it will make a lot more sense what I've been doing it's been a very very productive day I was being a little nervous I couldn't um I didn't seem I, there was no one around yesterday and uh, so I sort of went um, off and I yeah, did some odd jobs goods train yesterday so a lot of us were pooped because we were doing this today and then there's a Sisica transport happening tomorrow oh um yeah so we're taking the guards to a, a job not a job fair a market because they sell potatoes at the market and we take them to and from ah right so celia worth did all three events over this weekend and i just did two i that's my limit i think oh my goodness so yeah, I do apologize. We've just been a little bit pooped. This has been a very busy weekend for the Transit Authority. I did a wedding last minute as well this week, so. No, not a problem at all. I, I made sure I was busy. I went and picked some oranges and such, but then I had a bit of a run in with a fellow at the uh, Blackwater Saloon. That was a bit of a scary. Oh goodness. I think that's why I just felt felt such a rush of adrenaline before is because I just yeah yes just yesterday I was robbed myself and it all came flashing back oh don't worry Steve I'm not sick I'm just I think it's just um maybe breakfast went down the wrong pipe I'll be all right Om nom nom. Oh yeah, I see there's a whole bunch of other people on duty. Mr. Flood's on duty. Uh, was it Rhea, Jefferson, Bobby? There's a bunch of people on. So we can do more, more ride-alongs. How exciting.
Oh, sorry, I just don't know what to say. I feel really guilty that I've let you down. No, no, you, you haven't let me down like at all. This. No, you're being too hard on yourself, miss. I'm just, I'm just enjoying taking in the, in the train ride. What? You said you're from England as well. From, uh, from where? Where did you come? Oh, wonderful! It's been wonderful meeting so many fellow, fellow Brits over here. I know. There's so many of us. I don't suppose I could drop you off at Wallace and ask you to send a telegram to or and transit letting them know the trains away safely, could I? Oh yes, well, I, I'll send a tip line out to try and uh, find anyone else on shift yes, as well, so I'll two great. birds, one yeah. stone. You're amazing, thank you so much. My it pleasure. Just, it ticks off another job, because I've got so many jobs to do now, paperwork-wise. Is there anything else I can do to help? Um. I think that that'll be it. Just explain that Peggy will be staying at Wallace Station to complete paperwork for a while. All right. nice just taking in the, the scenery as you ride along. So I'm remaining on duty, but I will be not doing transports, but paperwork. So much paperwork. Uh, so, I, the reason I was in Rhodes to begin with is I suspected some staff were at the... Uh, was it a job fair? Yeah, yeah, there was a job fair. How was that? It went really, really well. I was doing a hot air balloon, so... Oh, that would have been lovely. Uh-huh. Not afraid of heights at all, are we? Not, but a lot of people were. I have a deputy. His name's Fowler, and he keeps throwing he keeps me throwing up every time I take him somewhere high on the train. And then he went in the hot air balloon today. He's like, my God. <laughs> oh dear. You'd like Fowler. He's a very sweet man. A deputy, you say? Yes. I'm so sad that Wainwright was there. Danny Wainwright's a lovely deputy. He was there, and I missed him. Ah, oh, I I have trouble. I don't think I've caught the names of many of the deputies but uh, on the on my first day uh, arriving here in in country it was uh it was his name uh, Sawyer Blake was very helpful he was a nice young Aww. deputy I'm I just scared I can't remember it and there was another a senior deputy or a sheriff she was she was very she made me feel much at ease after one of my muggy getting robbed one day I can't remember her name well here we are Right, I'm gonna get this train up to the depot, and then yeah. And I'll, I'll uh, include in my telegram that the uh, this route has completed its journey, and that you'll be remaining on duty to complete paperwork. Yes. Oh, very good. Well, Miss Peggy, thank you very much, and uh, look forward to next time. Thank you so much. All right, see you soon, Albert. Have a lovely day. Bye. I think you're amazing. Oh, just trying my best. All right, let's get this telegram away. Do 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 do. Um, what did I write last time? Where's my notes? Good day.
All right. Uh, so we've sent that out. Um, and then there is uh, the other stuff going on. So that was the passenger train. There's a freight train going around the Western Loop. So we'll head, uh, we'll head out, head out west. Yo, Jake. Ah, it's been a, it's been a really good day so far. We just did a ride along on a passenger train with a senior officer, Peggy. Um... Uh, we, uh, there was, uh, I learned a lot. Uh, she showed me, she gave me some updates on some changes with the procedures. And then, um, uh, definitely experienced a lot of things of like what can go wrong, sort of what to keep an eye out for and how to deal with it, which was good. Uh, there was one bit where we had a bit of a sus passenger and he, um, I was, I was keeping an eye on some passengers on the train and she went to give him a quick tour of the office in one of the stations and then he was um, robbing her. And so she was able to get our attention through the glass and she's like, quick, quick, Albert, go run. Go get the sheriffs. And so I had to run into town and, and that it was, um, it was quite, a, quite a funny little experience. Um, but yeah, she, she said, I am picking it up well um doing well the job so, so she's actually going to put in a recommendation for me to uh proceed to the next stage uh and if the if the if the majority of the senior officers all agree then yeah i'll move on to the next stage and i'll get a guidebook and stuff which will include the uniform and other details so uh it's looking good but we are, we are now looking to head out to the western line looks sounds like there's a freight train happening out there so we can do another ride along with another senior officer to hopefully learn some more stuff as well um yeah it's been good hey how how's your how you going jake how you bloody going <laughs> How are you going? Just worked out and ate some food. Nice. Very productive. Feeling good and sexy. <laughs> That's good. That's wonderful. Got much on for the weekend? I'm very, um, I'm a little chuffed. Um, so last night, uh, I knocked over a, uh, 72-hour mode, New Game Plus speedrun of the new Dead Rising remaster. Um, did a couple of attempts, and I, I did a, my last attempt went pretty good. So, um, I, I submitted the time, and it was accepted. So, look, th there will no doubt, absolute no doubt in my mind that there will be um that there will be better runners out there but for at least a day uh, i've got the world record for the console side of the leaderboard which is woo but yeah they no, it, it will get beaten it, like there will there will be a better run but yeah it's cool i set the bar <laughs> it was my husband's b day today and we got drunk on sake at a japanese place and then went home and it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that would have been that would have been a fun way to spend the birthday. I've only had sake like once or twice. That would have been nice. Nice birthday celebration. Not a huge fan. Ah, oh, it's I think it's more it's more like to say you're drinking sake at a Japanese place is more exciting than the actual consumption of it. Oh, uh, I see. I, don't, I think I've only had the good stuff. Like it was fine, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm not racing out to have it again. It's more, but yeah, for me, it's more like the idea of it is exciting. Like, um, like years and years and years ago, like 
I, not, it's not like I particularly enjoyed drinking absinthe, but it was like, it was like the idea of like, oh yes, we're drinking some absinthe. Oh, have fun, fun, fun. It was more, that was more exciting than the actual consumption of it. Oh, I hope there's not a cat waiting for me. I suppose a lot of a lot of alcohol is like that for me. Like I don't actually enjoy it. It's more like everything else rather than the actual taste of it. Cause like whiskey, I'm like, eh. Scotch, eh. A lot of wine, eh. Like the only drinks I really enjoy is like a good dark beer. Uh, I guess I, I I don't love it, but I do. I guess I enjoy Guinness. Um, oh yeah, a good dark beer or a good craft beer. I don't, yeah, I don't really... Don't really enjoy them, eh? Your two worst hangers when you had absent. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> there, I think there's a reason why I haven't had it in over 10 years. <laughs> oh, you like a sour beer, eh? Yeah, I don't get it either, Steve. I, I just... Yeah, they're like, it's so smooth. I'm like, yeah, but like... Like, should I just go drink some petrol instead? Like... <laughs> like, I spent how much money on this glass? For what? What? Look out, bunny rabbit. I hope they're still... I hope they're still out here. Did I hit the rabbit? What was that sound? Because it would be great to do a ride-along with every single senior officer, just so I've... Because I imagine they've all got something different to teach. I'd love to get all their... perspectives. I just want to make sure I've, I've learnt everything you need to learn about it, just so that I can do it without thinking, so then I can focus on the RP. I need to stop and get some apples. I need to stop at a general store. Head on down into Armadilla. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Do, 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 Oh, I've got water right here. 
got a water bottle right here, man. I need water. Like, yeah, duh. Here's one I prepared earlier. We may run into some trouble here. Armadillo seems to be an interesting place from what I've seen and heard. Bork, bork. Can I sell stuff? <laughs> this item can't be sold here. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, apples. Surely the train will come back through here, one way or another. Where is the loop? Hmm, where, where did they say they're going? Western loop. Hmm, they might be looping around there. Oh, I should have finished eating the apple before I open my map. Oh, that's right, it's out here. Nothing yet. So it's been a hot minute since I've deposited any money. I better do that first. <coughs> so many dogs. You like dogs? There's dogs everywhere.
I didn't know it was her before she pointed it out. Good evening. Hello, the fella. Good evening. I was just wondering if uh, anyone had heard a train come through recently. There's been three that's come through in the past hour-ish. Oh right. Uh, how long ago would you would you uh, would you assume that it's I coming would back say, through? Oh, it was here thirty minutes ago, and I heard that it will come back through at some point. I don't know when though. Do you know if it was, was it heading towards Tumbleweed? Uh, it was heading, if I'm uh, so on my left, that's the way it was heading. Oh, out that way. Right. I might head that way. I'm mm -hmm. uh, one and of the I new trainees. I in a loop. Right. Oh. I just, I, I think because I want to get a hold of them before they finish up. Thank you very much. I'll right. try and meet You're them. You're welcome. Were you looking for a Rhea? Yes. Yes, that was the one that was here 30 minutes ago. Oh, thank you she very much. Flood. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Mr. Flood! Yes, he was here briefly. They had a chat and then he left. Right, I'll try and grab a hold of him. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. You're welcome. Good luck. Mr. I'd like to wait for them, but the, there's a chance that when they get back there, they might be wanting to wrap up. But if I can catch them out this way, then at least I can ride along for a bit, maybe learn a bit or a thing or two.
Which way do we reckon? Left or right? You're a desert cat or something. Wow. Meow. Ba 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 ba. I can hear it. Oh. watching the train too oh yes and then hoping to meet up with them at the next stop i guess the next stop is armadillo yeah this, this station looks like it's in a bit of disrepair a hundred percent you want to ride there sure the name's indigo riley by the way the nice to meet you miss riley albert groves Alvin Crows, you said. Oh, uh, uh, Albert Groves. Oh, Groves. All right, well, it's a, the pleasure's all mine. You just uh, out here to admire the train as well? A hundred percent. You're looking really fancy for out west. Oh, yeah, yeah well, I read only a few weeks ago I arrived here from England and then. Uh, I just came here with a suitcase and the clothes on my back. England's a nice place. Uh, kind of miss it sometimes. Oh, you're from there as well? My sister is, and so is my extended family. Ah, where, from where did they hail? Let's see. I 
would like to say London, but I don't think she ever really had a place that she called her own. Oh, that's a shame. It could be very rough conditions there. It was uh, that's a, half the reason why I came out here. It's just it was just too much competition with the with the underground railroad and such. It's just not enough jobs. So I thought I'd try out in the new world, eh? A hundred percent. You have nothing but opportunity down here. Yes, and uh, just last week I, I started training with the transit authority, so I'm just hoping to do more of that today. Keep it, keep learning, and hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be me driving around the, the trains around these parts soon. I sincerely hope so. Uh, what do you, what a, uh, any work yourself, miss? Yeah, I do a little bit of work. <laughs> The self-employed kind. Oh, that's good. Sometimes it's good to be your own boss. A hundred percent. I think she's gonna rob the train. <laughs> well, sir, it looks like you caught your train. It's very good timing. I appreciate the ride along. I wouldn't want you to feel lonely down here. Hopefully they stop. They might not. Ah, there they go. Phew. There's more training for me coming up, I think. I think I'm looking for... I think it's Miss Jefferson, I think. Miss Jefferson. Well, let's go ask. Good day! Can help? Oh yes, uh, Albert Groves at your service. I'm one of the new trainees. Oh, I think about, uh, I read about it. Weren't you on uh, Peggy's stream before? <laughs> yes, uh, she wrapped up and she's just seeing just some paperwork. So I thought I'd pop out here and if you need any help or any guidance to bestow upon me, I'm all for it. Well, I appreciate it, but uh, I'm pretty much wrapping up. I'm just gonna head over to McFarland's Ranch, turn the train around and then that's pretty much it for the run. I've already been around for quite some time. Oh, that's all right. Do you mind if I tag along just for that, just to get a refresher? Sure. Sounds like a plan. It was it uh, Miss Jefferson, is it? That's correct, yes. Ah, wonderful to meet you. Likewise. Just a second. Uh, let me talk to this gentleman here real quick. I just want to say thanks again for that. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a little look around town and be on my way. Sure, no problem. Welcome to the crossing, and hope you enjoy your time here. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, your name was? Rhea Jefferson. Rhea Jefferson. Rhea. Yes. yes. Nate Parker. Pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure myself. All right. Y'all uh, right. have a good night. Take care. You too. Stay safe. All right. So... From what I heard, you already know quite a bit about uh, the railroad and the eastern tracks, from what I heard? Yes. All right, you know... Just a second, I need to drink something. It's quite warm out here. I... I... Oh, the ride over, I could start to feel myself perspirate more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the goddamn west, so what do you expect? All right, so uh, you know stuff about the western line as well? I did uh, one uh, ride along with uh, Miss Worth last week. Oh, okay. Um, but she already told. Yeah, uh, she already told you a bit about the Western Line. A little bit. Uh, I, I, very unfortunate timing. I caught her at the end of her route as well. Ah, dang it! <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. That's ah, all right. Well, if you. Are interested in uh, also getting in some in like insight about freight train operations I mostly have a train running on um, Thursdays around uh, what was it 3 30 p.m. Eastern Standard oh uh, so some sometimes it's hard for me to uh, to line up with other people's schedules due to the the very southern stars over my head in my in my mind that's completely fine that's completely fine there's also some trains that are uh, scheduled later on uh do we want to go somewhere underneath the roof so we don't get as wet yes look i'm all for getting 
uh, cooled down, but it may be excessive. <laughs> yeah, not like that. <laughs> I need to go into the office real quick anyway and check something. No worries. Whatever you need to do, I'm happy to just tag along and, yeah, sure. and, and learn what I can. Of course. Come in. This is the Amadillo office that we have. It's not the prettiest, but <laughs> I mean, it's rarely been used. Oh, look in a pinch. That might be good for a nap, I suppose. That's true. Oh, if I ever would need a nap here, but I'll also just rather sleep at home. <laughs> <laughs> just wait until get one good sleep in rather than a one little... Yeah, it might get a bit dusty in here. True. <laughs> right, so... Yes, so, uh, what did, uh, Miss Worth or... So I like to, uh, as we all mostly call her Celia by her first name, um... We almost call it all of us by our first name, so feel free to do that as well. Right! Um... So, what did she already tell you about the Western Lines? It was mainly, um, she, she noted that there, while there's not really an official train station for Tumbleweed, she showed me a, a spot uh, that's good to, to stop if when required. Um, and then it was really just being mindful to slow down when approaching the Armadillo station, as you would others, just so you're not, um, there's no one in danger of a fast-moving train mm -hmm. coming through. Um, she gave me a, re a refresher on announcing at the station, uh, checking telegrams mm -hmm. at stations when needed. And then um, it was really then just where to uh, leave the train at the depot near McFarlane's Ranch when completing the route. Yes. Right. So I can tell you a bit about uh, the switches because they, for whatever reason, the sand here makes them have a mine on their own. Um. It sometimes happens, uh, did you, in general, got told about our switches? I've been told a little yeah. about them. Mr. Flood, uh, he told me that sometimes you need to use a, a sledgehammer to uh, knock them back into place. Yeah, that can happen. Well, sometimes either if you forgot to set the switches um, at the station you just departed, you just uh, stop a few feet in front of them, maybe like... Uh, 10, 15 feet or something like that. You step in front of them, grab a sledgehammer, and you just uh, hammer them in the right place. Um, otherwise, out here in the west, as I said, the sand can make them sometimes have a mind on their own. Uh, which sometimes throws them back to their original state. So, I had it once that I went out west, down to Benedict Point, around uh, Gap Tooth again, and then the switch just uh, was thrown back to its original point so I uh. just took an extra round around Benedict point <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of funny but out here in the west you sometimes have to double check if a switch is set or not um, then we have a weird extra switch that is not visible nor being used or two extra switches out uh, behind McFarlane's ranch I never understood why we have four switches, if there's only one. Um, so that's something you really have to keep in mind. That's uh, best to show you once you got uh, fully trained and once you got your clipboard and everything and your keys to, to the offices. Um, but if you're out west, you really have to keep an eye on the switches. They're, they have a mind on their own. <laughs> right, so out west, it's best to double check because you yeah, have the sand and the... The environment can be a bit uh, exactly a bit difficult, right? Uh, that exactly. makes sense. The, the sand, the heat, and I don't know, animals just strolling over their switches and uh, hitting them or something like that. I don't know. Um, besides that, um, we got uh, the very steep hill, which you probably saw right right after Amadillo. Um, trains tend to struggle get, getting up the hill depending on, on the length of the cargo. For example, the one I have, Big Red, is the biggest that we have, around 12 cars if I'm not mistaken. Goodness. Um, 
she struggles a lot getting uh, up the hill. Um, she does make it, but uh, she struggles a lot. And um, then the tunnel, you have... I always, when I'm engineering a train, I always do it uh, that I whistle once before and once well inside shortly before leaving the tunnel. Because sometimes you have some riders just using that tunnel as a shortcut to get over here into the west. Oh, yes. And you don't want to have a rider at the front of your train suddenly. Oh, that would be that would be terrifying. Good. Yes, that's it, a good idea. Be, uh, just safety, like a small safety precaution uh, to do. Um, otherwise, pretty much that's all I know about uh, the Western line. Um, obviously, when you go into the big S curves in between here and the switches over at Benedict Point, um, rather go a bit slower because of how sharp they are. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. A lot of common sense. Now, that's good to I'll keep that in the back of my mind. I'd hate to. <laughs> I'd rather a train didn't come off the tracks on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't had a derailment in quite some time. We had uh, some sabotage of train tracks, but that's been repaired here soon. Um, other than that, we didn't have any derailments or whatsoever. Oh, good. Good to hear. I heard something about something happened at Emerald Ranch recently. Yes. Uh, we can talk about that one while we're on the way to Emerald, uh, to, to, to McFarland's, if you wish. Sounds good to me. All right. Oh, uh, let me quickly check the tip and my telegrams and then we can be on our way. Good, good, good. Ah. Water. I need some fresh cold water. I see you also got a bit of training in sending uh, the information regarding trains that are out and about. Yes. Very good. Well, I'm guessing you also got told to send them to law so they know that there's a train out and about. Uh, yes, I sent uh, the first one out to uh, yes, law, medic, press, and ranger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. It's always good that they know in, in case there is something happening. So that's always good. Oh, we definitely benefited from that because um, we had some suspicious fellows at uh, Wallace Station. And they were quickly uh, mm -hmm. scared off by some law that came through because they were aware. And then, um, and then some law were able to, uh, I guess, scare away some other people that tried to uh, stir away uh, in, in the caboose. Um further along the route as well. So I definitely saw how it can benefit us. He was very thankful. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's always the reason why we do it. We do have quite a few stowaways lately, especially on freight trains, because um, it's harder to see the uh, on those uh, than on passenger trains, because you always have a conductor on a passenger train. On freight trains, you don't. You can, but it's not usually that you have one. Um, so most people tend to use freight trains as a free ride between the cities. Oh dear. Um, so it's, it's always good to, uh, for law to know. And besides that, you always have, uh, the town folks and some other residents here in the crossing that keep an eye out and report any stowaways to the law, which is nice. Very good. I'll keep that in mind. Yes. Uh, regarding freight trains, normally we don't transport passengers, but for example, if let's say someone is new to the crossing, like the gentleman that I just talked to before, or if it's something like you don't really have any freight and you're just doing runs, uh, and then we need to go, uh, go I don't know, from, from Valentine to, to Saint Denis, as long as nothing really happens, um, and as long as they're not telling our uh, director, it's completely fine. Right. It's sort of a case-by-case -case situation. Exactly. All right. 
I'll try and I'll try and use my best best judgment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always a nice gesture for um, that you get uh, people right if they really need it. Yes, yes, it's good to yeah, pay kindness forward. Exactly. All right, let's get the train moving, shall we? Sounds good. All righty. Whoop. Oh, yeah, and always, once you get your keys, always make sure that uh, the offices are locked. Oh, yes. I, yeah, good run. I imagine I could definitely <laughs> be guilty of that. Yeah, it's always better because there we do have some uh, stuff in there that's uh, confidential. Ah. Uh. Um, so it's better people do not see it. Yeah, learned about right. that. <laughs> you ever been on a locomotive before? Just a couple of times. It's uh, it's been thrilling. All right. Well, since uh, since there is no um, real space behind the locomotive, you feel free to stand with me. If you wish, you can help on uh, shoveling some coal. See how that is. Oh yes. Um, keep an eye on the gauges so we have enough water and uh, the boiler pressure is not getting too high. Oh, very good. I've, and, ne I've never uh, been at this spot. This is exciting. Well, always the first time. You want to sound the whistle? Oh, uh, yes. Just pull at the at the cord above my head. I hope I'm doing it right. Ah! There we are. Full steam there ahead. There you go. Train's moving. <laughs> Giddy up. So I so so you're currently taking on the engineer role, is that correct? Yes, that's my preferred role um, on any train. Um, I'm rather on the mechanical side, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, so. I'm mostly the engineer, especially also on our high value trains, um, because I, back in, when I was still living at home, I, we had a local roundhouse and I went over there and they showed me everything, like how the engines work, how to maintain them and all this fun stuff. And that showed me, yep, that's what I want to do. That's just, that's just stuck with you your whole life. Pretty much, you can say that. I definitely, I can understand that. It's, it's only until now that I, yeah, I moved to this country that I've been able to start this line of work. But I just, ever since I was a small boy, just riding, riding from the countryside into London and so forth was just, it was always just the highlight of my day. And so now it feels like <laughs> an actual dream come true. I just wanted to say, you sound very British to me. <laughs> yes, I'm fr still relatively <laughs> fresh off the boat from London. That's not a problem at all. Uh, now you can see how she's struggling. Yes, you bit of... Come on, old girl, you can do it! I mean, we do have some cargo behind us, so that's totally normal, but she normally manages it. Even if it doesn't look like it, but... Thanks to our maintenance team at the depots, they are well maintained and uh, they're getting every single horsepower out of it, or attractive effort out of it. Yeah, you can see it, considering how many carriages we've got back there, it's doing a mighty fine effort. Yep, as I said, 12 carriages. Before it was uh, around 15, I think, but they had to reduce them. Ah, yes. And so on the, so you're currently undertaking the engineer role here, but on the yes. passenger trains, uh, like I've only yes. seen like Celia and Bobby and such, they will be on the uh, carriage behind this one. And is that, is that the conductor role? Exactly. So if you are um, on passenger trains, you can also have an engineer if there is someone available. Otherwise, it's uh, our tones folk that are uh, doing it. Bobby, um, Bill, and what they all called, there's so many, I, can't, I don't know all their names. As I met and Earl today, he was 
Yes. He was a little cheeky. Yeah, he's one of the cheekiest ones. <laughs> um, but yes, otherwise, this is the conductor. I'm mostly taking care of the passengers. If there's no engineer, also telling um, well, Bobby or whoever it is when to stop, when to when to go, how fast to go. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, that's the conductor. And then we also have the safety officers, mm -hmm. the safety crew. Do you know where, what they are for? Oh, dude. Kind of obvious. Yes. And uh, I guess, uh, is their priority doing, you know, checking up and down the train, making sure there's no stowaways? Exactly. I would have definitely, I wish we had one of those today with some of the, the odd people we met. Some, some very, some very slimy people out there. Maybe keep me on my toes. Yeah. Sadly, sadly. But yeah, also on uh, our high value trains that we have uh, running from time to time, but they are highly needed because those trains are pretty much an attraction point to any criminal. Uh, like moths to a flame. Pretty much, you could say that. And we're we're, uh, we're coming up on that tunnel in a moment, aren't we? Yes, this. I think the second or the lo uh, longest tunnel. No, it's the second longest tunnel I think that we have on both lines. It's the longest one on our western line. It's the only one on our western line. Ah. Oh, here we go. It's getting dark for a moment. Turning on the headlight. There we go. Ah. And you see, there is not much space uh, left or right. No, not at yes, not, not at all. Especially not if there's a rider coming along, so... It's always good to give a heads up, in case there is one. I'd really hate to be stuck in here with a train barreling down on me. Yeah, I don't want to... I would not want this to happen. <laughs> Right, so, uh, but regarding the uh, repairs that uh, we talked about. Yes. Um, speaking of criminals, it was actually, I had a freight train out on Thursday. Um, I had my scheduled train. I went down from Emerald Station towards Saint Denis and, uh, yeah, some criminals decided to blow up the tracks right in front of me. Oh my and god! Try to rob the train. So they luckily they didn't got anything and uh, they didn't hurt anyone. So that's uh, a good thing. But the downside is the tracks are now destroyed. Oh my god! That would have been yeah, terrifying. This is how far it is. Um, I mean, I was just casually driving down the road and saw a person there. I was just thought it wasn't. I don't know. Someone just wanted to look at the trains. Uh, but apparently, yeah, they were up for no good, and uh, I actually got quite scared when uh, the explosives, the explosives went off. What, so, what did you do? Did you have to put your put on the brakes? Pretty much emergency brakes. So just uh, pull the brake handle all the way to the back and just hope for the best. Oh my god. Well, you can do that, and what you can do as an as another help, if you pull the reverser into reverse and then open the throttle full, it pretty much gives uh, the cylinders a backwards boost. Let me say it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they they're trying to go the other way, so slowing down the cylinders, which means slowing down the train even more. So right. I get a small additional brake. Yeah, imagine in a situation like that, drop of a hat, you need all the help you can get. Exactly. And normally in this regard, we also have the help of the caboose. Sadly, on this train, we don't have one. Um, but, uh, for example, with the caboose, um, they can help in regards to braking. 
uh, which would help uh, stopping the train, especially on like more heavier and longer trains. So it's not really in our policy, but uh, when I have, whenever I see a danger on the tracks, I always go with uh, a lot of like sh short whistles. Mm -hmm. So people on the train or nearby knows there's danger ahead. Makes Pretty sense. Pretty much every engineer, engine conductor does it their own way, but I tend to do it that way. As uh, a warning. I agree. You want to give everyone as much heads up as you can. Exactly. God, that would have been wild, like explosion going off, having to stop the train quickly. So this is the switch that I was talking about, that we only have one switch here, right? But on our uh, clipboard, apparently we have four switches. I don't know where the other three are. Huh. <laughs> so it, I'm quite curious. Well, I'm glad you told me, because, yeah, I would take one look at it, and I'd be mighty confused. <laughs> yeah. As I said, it's better to explain once you get uh, your clipboard yourself and you get your keys and everything. Then it's easier to explain and to show. Because on the clipboard, there's all the switches are marked down on there. Right. Yes. Indeed. Yeah, um, they blew up the tracks and obviously now the tracks are no more, so we have to repair them. So that's actually what the first work in Tracker Work train is for on uh, Monday. Um, as it is, it's most likely going to be on Monday since most people signed up for that then. Um, it's pretty much just emergency basic repairs, so at least the train can run on mm -hmm. this track, if only with reduced speed. But at least we can utilize the track. So um, that'll be a busy day. Uh, quite. I mean, since it's only basic repairs, it's not going to be long. And the biggest repairs are going to be planned at a later time. Um, where we also s try to get the Sissica inmates for help. Oh. So that they can do something for their... They can repay their criminality. Yes. Show that they're turning over a new leaf. Yep. Plus, we have more hands, then we can get it fixed quite fast. So that's that's pretty much the point behind it. Um. So yeah. Well, I hope that goes smoothly. It'll be nice to hear that it's all repaired and in tip-top to condition again. We sure hope so. Because that is a vital track that we need. So, uh, Emerald Ranch line. I sure do wonder on this track on our right whenever this will be finished. Because this is apparently a track that is planned to go all the way down to Blackwater. Yes, I saw that there's. It's still under under construction would do you think they would ever connect the two lines somehow i sure hope so it would pretty much bring more efficiency to the rail lines but i'm not 100 percent sure if that if they ever manage it i mean from what i've seen this bridge or this line there has been under construction for years and they don't really make any progress I sure hope at some point that they make progress and at least get us down to Blackwater so we can have this bigger city connected. Yeah, it's um, almost like Blackwater's caught in sort of the middle between these two great lines. It pretty much is, and that's, uh, I mean, it has a dock for, for the ferries, but it would help more if it had a connected train line. So that's why I'm hoping that at some point, hopefully, they at least connect Blackwater. And maybe one day going all the way over to the Eastern Line and then we can have a full-on connection between the East and the West of the crossing. That would be very exciting. It sure would. It would open way more opportunities as well.
nearing McFarland's ranch, I would imagine. Exactly. And this is where we will be stopping. The loading up the last bit of um, hay that we have on the flat wagons behind us. And after that, we're going to bring it back to the depot. Another thing is, even though this is this train here is called the Big Red Western, mm -hmm. we also tend to bring it. At least myself, I tend to also bring out for a ride on the Eastern Line, since there's the most freight that has to be transported, thanks to uh, Santony and. Valentine and all those in Annisburg, for example, as well. All those stops. And um, yeah, apparently people really like it. It's a it's a marvel just how big it is. I mentioned heavily relied upon. Yeah, so many stops on that line, the, the work would never stop. Exactly, especially with uh, how much freight goes through the port of Santony. Well, let's just wait till they unload the hay, and then we can get over to the depot. Sounds good. All right, so the hay... You got any questions so um, far? No, it's it's all been... Uh, like uh, Mr. Flood was very thorough during our interview last week, and then really it's just it's just been a pleasure just seeing how all the, all the various senior officers handle things and just taking it in, really. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Flutter is uh, very precise about it in the interviews and in general. He cares about everyone in the department as well, um, which is nice. I just had to talk with him earlier this day. And he's a really nice fella. He's been, everyone has been very accommodating so far. Very. And then it's like every senior officer, you know, they... They touch on they, they touch the same points, but then they've all got a different they've all got sort of like a different angle, if that makes sense, which is which is good. Everyone has their own style to it. Yes, and it, it, it many great ways of just getting the same job done. So I have so much. I feel like whenever questions come up or or situations arise that I, I think about, you know, how would I handle this? I've I've got a lot of uh, information to fall back on. Exactly, and. If there's questions or if you have concerns or something like that, for concerns, the senior officers are always, always have an open ear. Um, for example, Flood, if there's a, just a concern and talk to him and he listened to it, he helped out and is trying to solve it. So any senior officer, really, if there's something going on, any concerns, you can always go to them. Or if you have just normal questions, that even uh, normal officers can answer. Everyone is always happy to help. Wonderful. Any questions, just go to any officer and they can help you. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Even if it is uh, regarding paperwork or whatever. Even though the paperwork just recently got uh, like pushed back a bit so we don't have to do as much paperwork anymore. Um, now it's uh, just a small information, a small uh, check-in on the shift report. And if there was an incident, then obviously you have to do a bit more paperwork. But otherwise, it's uh, just pretty much a two-liner that you have to write down. Right. I mean, yeah, I've heard a lot about the paperwork required. It's just, yeah, I, I probably won't have any questions regarding that until I'm s sitting down to have a go at it myself. Hmm. It's it. In that regard, it's easier when you have it, when you have the paperwork in front of you, and you can actually look through it, and actually see how it goes, rather than now me standing here with the clipboard, trying to explain you something, and you don't see what I mean. 
Yes, no, you, mm. you could you could tell me ten different ways, but it won't stick until I am having a look myself. But that's right. Um, Peggy seemed quite confident that I'll be uh, getting the handbook soon and and proceeding to to learn more things. And so more things, she said, more things will fall into place in time. Which is good to yes. good to know. You learn the most over time, and uh, as she said, that from what I can see and from, from what I can hear, you do know the, uh, the stuff. You do. Uh, you are very interested in uh, all what's going on, and uh, so I am pretty sure that your training will be. That you get your training very soon. I hope so. It's. It's felt really good because I was very nervous coming coming to this this new country and I was very scared I wouldn't be able to find any stable employment or find my place soon. But it's being able to progress with the training is really I I feel like I've I, I made the, I feel like I made the right decision. I'm feeling more comfortable. That's always good to hear. I mean, being nervous is not a bad thing. And I was nervous as hell when I got over here because I come from a small town outside New York so I'm more used to like the big city life even though it's like a smaller town it's, it's still quite big mm -hmm. um, but I'm more used to that and out here you have for example now even though we're standing here you hear the the hissing of the locomotive but you also hear the the crickets you hear the birds you hear just nature and that's something I wasn't used to and trust me, I got quite nervous or quite scared when I was out at night and I heard the wolves. I heard the cougars, which I personally met a few times. Yeah, me yeah. too. How scared. Uh, <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I have a few claw marks on my back thanks to them. Um, so it's, it was quite nervous and scary, but the longer you hear, the more used uh, you get more used to it. And... Um, also, when I started, when I got my interview to join the department, I was really nervous. I that was the first time I also met Flot, and uh, but he was calm. He uh, kept me calm and was over in quite fast. And afterwards, I felt even more welcome. So there's a real help to being, one's confidence. Exactly. It's not to be nervous at once or at the start, but once you get used to, once you settle in, it's all just, it's like at home at some point. I hope so. I just, it was a very long boat ride over here and I had a lot of time to think and I just couldn't help but feel, you know, have I made the right decision? What on earth am I doing? But it's good, <laughs> like, here I am, I'm right here, right behind the... A locomotive engine. It's happening. Living your life. It's very exciting. And then even just the, to learn that, you know, can also learn how to to run the boats and, you know, like a carriage service. It's, there's a good variety to it as well. And then hearing about the yes. events going on and, you know, you're talking about the, the work on the tracks. Like, there's just so much to do. Exactly, there's work never stops and once you really got settled in and you got your um, you got your training done and you got your uh, supervised ride along which is mostly Peggy doing them because she's very passionate about it <laughs> um, but once you get your supervised uh, ride along done you're pretty much free to do whatever you wish if you see if you want to run a train hell, put it in the bulletin board Run a train. If you wish to uh, do carriages, your best contact for that is Flood. He um, brought back the carriage services. Uh -huh. So whenever there's something that, talk to him and he can give you advice in that regards. If you want to run passenger service, you can either go to Bobby or myself. We are usually the ones that run the, pa uh, the, the freight services. And um, if you wish to have a boat cruise, like a like a river cruise with one of our boats um which i also highly appreciate it because we rarely have them oh, do i hear wolf i, this. Uh, I think there's a wolf yeah 
Oh, good thing we are on the engine. Um, but yeah, if there's like any questions regarding the river cruises, we have three boats. Um, if there's any questions regarding that, you can also always ask me. I tend to run them quite a few times as well. Oh my god, that lady's being attacked by a wolf over oh, there! Oh, Jesus. Very, oh, Jesus. Oh my god! Oh my god, I think it's got her! Oh my god, she's... She's down, face down in the dirt! Yeah. Uh, sadly, we can't do anything about that. I'm not getting off this train while there's a wolf running around. And I don't have my rifle with me. I've, 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 I recently bought a revolver, but if yeah, blood taught me how to handle it, but I've, I've never... I've just... I've only shot at signs! I haven't pointed it at anything living! Not to mention something with fangs like that. Oh god, I feel like it's looking at me. Yep, I can see it looking over here. There's another lady ah. walking out of the farm that way. Don't go that way, there's a wolf! Turn back, miss! <laughs> Oh my god, she's heading right for it! Oh no, the wolf spotted her! Is she is she deaf or something? Uh oh. Oh my oh, god! No! Oh, no! Oh god. Oh oh god. Oh Jesus. Should I fire a warning shot? Maybe try firing fire a warning shot towards the wolf? I don't I can't see them behind the tree. Hang on. Oh my god, I think it got her as well. I'm gonna pull forward, maybe you can see the wolf. We got the uh, departure signal anyway. Right. Maybe you can uh, shoot in the wolf. Oh, the wolf is directly in front of us. Oh my god, he's... <laughs> oh my god. This is horrible. Yeah, that's what it's, that's exactly what I was talking about. There he is on the left side there. Oh my god. Might have to let the rangers know about that. Yeah, we we'll probably have to. Goodness gracious. Well, what I learned, whenever there's a wild animal attacking you, if it's a cougar, grizzly, or wolf, get on one of those rocks where they can't jump on and sh you, you're fine. Get to the high ground. Pretty much. Just try to get the high ground and, uh, well, definitely has to be something where they can't get on, so. You know, very thankful Mostly we have the train here. Exactly. So that's... That's why I said I'm, I'm happy to be on the train right now. <laughs> I just can't believe it. She didn't... She didn't even... It's like she didn't notice the, the whistle at all. It felt like she was deaf or something. Such a pity. Silly NPCs. Right, so. I'd say be careful when we get a step off the train. Probably best thing is to directly make our way up here. <laughs> Maybe there could be more don't around. Wanna, uh, don't don't want to be turned into wolf meat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Duren. <laughs> Duren. Ah, okie dokie. All right, fellas. She, ra she ran like a charm, but it's time for her to bring it to bed.
Oh, I see. We did a loop. Oh, well, that's a first. They don't want to bring her to bed. Oh. They they don't even have her listed on on the clipboard anymore. That's that's, oh, that's, not, uh, that's a first. Yes, Peggy. Peggy was experiencing the same issue. It just it was no longer listed on the clipboard. The uh, the, the one on the the passenger train on the Eastern Line earlier. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I think best is if we park it inside the tunnel then, so it's not exposed out here. Uh-huh. Ooh. I was wondering why it didn't consume any fuel. Uh, yeah, same thing. Yeah, Peggy was wondering what on earth Earl was using to fuel the train. It's not quite curious. Now the bad thing is I don't know if we are fully in, so I'm just I'm gonna pull in further. Right, uh, but what I saw in the um, in the clipboard that we have officially the main repair train. Or the chain gang, as we called it. Uh, we have it officially signed up for October the 5th at 5 p.m. EST. Right. If you wish to, if you wish to help out there as well, I'm, I'm sure no one would mind. If I'm available, I'll be there for sure. <clears throat> Damn time difference. All right, well, I'd say we leave her here. Mm. Yep, just applying the handbrake. Should be good. And then we can head back. The sad thing is we don't have a tip line or anything at uh, McFarlane's Ranch, so we either have to go all the way down to Amadillo or all the way to Blackwater. Oh. Right, sign it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now it should be good. Yay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, but now I can actually have a look at the whole train. So it's a refrigerated car that we have right there for ah, yes. cans of meat. Ah, very good. Uh the null no box cars. We can pretty much transport anything in. Um, 
especially stuff that has that's not allowed to be it's not allowed to get wet then eh. uh then we have uh the flat cars always stuff what we can uh transport on what we do on um winter times winter times christmas times uh i'm getting a bit drowsy let me quickly eat something oh yes in your height you've kept hydrated yeah i kept hydrated just my stomach's rumbling a bit there we go. ah much better Whew. all right so uh but yeah on for example on uh christmas winter times um what we can do what we allowed to do is put a christmas tree ah on the flatbeds um and i think it's a nice little thing to get into the spirit it is the season that'd be true so that's a nice little thing but yeah you see how we mainly have uh box cars and flat cars on this train um we also have closed ones where you cannot get in unless you open the side doors yeah that's pretty much uh what big red contains about Goodness gracious. It is, yeah, it is. Like, it's one thing to see it, but then to, to walk the length of it is another. It is. I mean, come to think of it, we are pretty much perfectly in the middle because, you see, we pretty much parked quite a bit. We could see the other end of the tunnel, and now we're at the end of the train, and we can see the end of the tunnel again. It's, it's good. Very well out of view. Yep. Unless someone takes a short trip through <laughs> here, but I, I hope not. Fingers crossed. Eddie, thank you for oh, the follow. Otherwise, Out they have pump. to get around the train. <laughs> Excuse me. Do 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 do. All right, before we get out, I quickly check something on the clipboard and then we can directly head out to uh, Blackwater to get everything sorted. Sounds good. Wise. The light! Aziz, lights! Let's head to Blackwater. Right. You got your horse as well, or? Oh, he should be around. Yes, old Growler. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll. My horse is around, Sheena. She is a bit of a scary horse. It's just a rabbit needs to, like, casually just hop by. Not even, like, jump scaring kind of way or so just just casually hopping by and she's getting scared and almost throwing me off the back oh poor thing a bit maybe maybe something scared her when she was a foal could be all right gina oh there you go oh whoops oh Oh dear. I'm not sure if Growler can hear me. He he may have gone back to a stable. Could be. I mean, you can ride with me if you wish. If that's all right, yeah. I, sure. I'm not sure where I left him, the old boy. <laughs> I'll get um. It's probably off in the at the stable, so. I hope so. I only just bought him the other week. I uh, probably most most horses when 
uh, when they're getting too far away from the owner, they just run to the next stable. And you can just talk to the folks there and they bring it over. Right. I just, yeah, I've got to be careful because yeah, yesterday and then last weekend, I was, uh, I was robbed both times. No. Oh. I've just got to watch out. It can be a little, uh, as yesterday I, uh, I popped into the Blackwater Saloon to uh, just find out some information. And this gentleman, well, he didn't seem to take too kindly to a, a British chap like myself, dressed up the way I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, he robbed me of, I think it was $70. Oh. Um, uh, Walton... Uh, Walton Gendry or something. I, I think he's a bit of an infamous outlaw. So I've been told. I've never heard that name never heard that name to be honest to be fair i'm not that big in the in like the scene of uh how many criminals are around i know like the typical gangs that we have like uh pp's gang and the um then we have uh what's his name tinker's gang which are out and about on van horn oh mr flood so. said that uh armadillo can attract quite a few of these uh, unsavory types. It can, uh, but if I'm gonna be honest, I rarely had any outlaws or like criminals out in the western. I mostly had them over here in the eastern part of the crossing. Uh, I, I, the last week I ran into a uh, two chaps who uh, they they held me up at gunpoint, and then they took me to the nearby. Uh, hill just outside Valentine if you're leaving town crossing the railroad tracks and they mm -hmm. they told me we're going to take $40 from your wallet and then what you're going to do is you're going to fight one of us if you win you can get your $40 back as well as an additional $20 and so I gave it oh, my God. best shot but uh, I did not walk away the victor and then they, they left me lying face down in the mud Valentine. I was very lucky that help arrived and then I was able to find a doctor. It was a horrible ordeal. Yeah, I don't know. Criminals are getting more and more, let's say, creative uh. with uh, their shenanigans. Last time we had a, um, we had a special occasion, like a special event, where someone rented the um, director's train. Which is like the fanciest passenger train that we have. Yes. It has like a nice uh, observation car and a nice uh, board restaurant. Um, and yeah, some outlaws thought, "Ooh, fancy train, fancy dressed people. Let's rob them." Oh. Well, funny enough, one of them jumped onto the train, nearly got, uh, nearly fell off the train, and the other ones decided instead of using a wagon, no, they just stop with their horses on top of the train tracks in front of a, I don't know, 100 plus ton train. What? So, I mean, obviously I stopped because uh, I don't want to have, like, kill people in cold blood because they're just too stupid to, to get off the train tracks. <laughs> but even, even if they decided to, like, not play along or to, to play stupid, you can really say... Howdy. Um, you can really say or think who would win. Two horses or a 100 plus ton train. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my, what so, were they thinking? So we just told them, hey, you have two options. Get off the train track or become moose. Pretty much. <laughs> like get, uh, get run over by, by the train. Because... <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 stupidity. If I'm gonna be honest. Um, and what did they what do? They tend to do? Well, they got off, so they they weren't that stupid. So they got off because uh, the fellow that jumped on the train got uh, got knocked out by the deputy that we had on the train as well as security. So they were pretty much down one person. Um, and they were standing in front of a train, so. Their cart was really bad. Jeez. So they got off, they took their fellow, and yeah, they went their way, and we went our way. 
Well. But at some point, criminals also go that way and actually go ahead and rent a wagon. Either it's a normal wagon and they put a person inside of it or on top of it or something like that. Or they don't put anyone in it, which is the best thing that could happen. Or the even worse part that they can do is get a tank wagon, go all the way up to the oil fields, load it up with uh, oil or kerosene or whatever they load up there, put it on the train tracks and use that to stop the train. Oh my god, that, missed, that was one of the examples in Mr. Flood's interview question. Exactly. So if, for example, they mostly do it on high value trains. Um, if we have this situation, if they have a tank wagon, obviously we stop because if that we ram that kind of stuff, it throws the train off the tracks, damages the tracks, damages the trains, and most likely also uh, injures people. Um, if they just use a wagon that's completely empty, we just plow through it because there's nothing... Well, it depends on the size of the wagon. If it's like a bigger wagon, it can still cause the train to derail, but at really rare locations. Otherwise, if they put someone into the wagon or in front of the wagon, obviously we don't stop because we don't want to kill a hostage that has nothing to do with it. Yes, that would be that would be horrible. Living with something like that would be yep. not good at all. Exactly. We had it uh, a few weeks back on a high value train. We were literally out on the western side as well. And right at the end of the tunnel, towards Amadillo, they parked a wagon with a hostage in front of it. So obviously had to stop it, and we were we stopped right in the tunnel. Wasn't pleasant at all. Oh dear. And you had security with you? We did, yes. Oh, thank goodness. But they didn't really, for whatever reason, they didn't really want to negotiate or like. It was a quite clusterfuck. Like um, <laughs> we tried to negotiate. They had like five different negotiators. We didn't even had they, they didn't even put the hostage um, like in view and all this kind of stuff. So it was mm. all over the place. These crafty criminals, eh? Yeah, they're getting weirder and weirder with their shenanigans and the way they're doing stuff. I just hope that uh, the next high body chain that we have is not any up that way. But time will tell and we will see. I just hope they stop stealing my hard earned money. I keep forgetting to yes. uh, I keep forgetting to visit the bank and drop some off. Yeah, that's something you really need to get used to to but um, you only have a few dollars with you at max. Like, Al, I currently have $64 with me. I have to put them into the bank. Yes. I try to yeah, just keep a bit on me to you know keep stocked up with apples and water and, and whatnot. But the rest, yeah, I'm, I'm just asking for trouble carrying that much around. If I may suggest, um, if you want to have some food with you or just want to have some food in general, I can highly suggest any stew that they're selling at any saloon. They're very good. The stew is good? I'll have to give it yes, a try. The stews, the stews are very good and they pretty much fill your hunger a lot. That would be good because yeah, sometimes I have one apple and then I'm craving another one not long after. Yeah, the stew really fills your stomach and it's it's very cheap as well. Like I think 25 or 75 cents. So it's not that much. Right, I'll go, I'll go grab some of that for, for dinner. Yes, I can highly recommend it. Right, let's get the paperwork done, and uh, that's also a thing. We have a Union Freight Depot here, but no connected train line. So at some point, I really hope that the train line gets connected over here. Yes. Yeah, fine transit folk. Howdy. If y'all would like some coffee, we got some fresh coffee right over there near the stove. Sounds nice. Um, I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I really appreciate it. Well, that's fine. Oh, I'm exhausted. Goodness. Same. Just got off a uh, train ride out in the west, so. How did it go for y'all? 
That wasn't too bad. Well, you all have a good night. You too. I received a telegram from Flood, and he was uh, worried that um might have been taken hostage. He said there was a bank robbery in uh, Blackwater or something. Well, luckily... You are with me, so <laughs> well you can let him know. You I just let him know around. that we I can confirm we've arrived safely here in Blackwater. Very good. Alright, let me quickly send a telegram to a law. Let them know that the freight train also has been uh sent back to the depot. Nom. Nom. <coughs> Good day. How are you today? Good yourself, just getting in a spot of transit authority training. Oh, that's exciting. I wish you well. Thank you. Busy day for you as well? Yes, very much so. What's the time right now? Does someone have a, uh, have a pocket watch with him? 9.53. 9.53. Appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Y'all have a good night and stay safe. You too. You too.
I've been thinking, I wonder if anyone's ever made a, for streaming, a just chatting scene where it's like a backdrop from like, like I'm, I'm trying to think like, what's the most common place you go to in Oblivion? And it's like, that's the background with your green screen. And then you've just got that damn Elder Scrolls Oblivion. You know, like you're in the house, not doing much music. Like it's like it's like that they use it with like NPC memes. I was what surely someone's made a a just chatting scene like that. Oh hello. I didn't see you there. Be very careful, the roads have been very busy lately. Do 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 God dang, these thunders are getting worse and worse. Oh, when I was riding in the roads earlier today, I, I, it almost looked like lightning struck one of the buildings. Oh, Lord. Hope we didn't catch on fire. Do, 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 do. look at that yep so that's official 5 p.m. on October the 5th in Annisburg so if you are interested in also helping out there or see how this is uh, going to be dealt with I'm sure no one would be would have anything against it that you would come along as well sounds good if I'm free I'll be there Yep. Uh, just a heads up, we are we will be meeting at 4:30 uh, to get all the preparation done, to get over the uh, all the informations and um, everything. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, do, 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 one second. Okay, so, alright. Well, <coughs> that's also it for my shift for today. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was not oh, that oh. Uh, the biggest uh, adventure. No, that's all right. It's still great to get everyone's uh, just learn a thing or two, no matter no matter what. So uh, appreciate it very much. Not a problem. It was a pleasure to having you with me, and I hope you enjoyed the the ride in the cab. It was good. I'm looking forward to looking forward to more of that. <laughs> I'm sure there will be more. I'll keep an eye out, but um, if I'm not, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that job, and then uh, yeah, I'll be back around uh, this time next week as well. All right. Well, I'll see. Maybe we will still be running at this time. Um. So, yeah, we'll see. Sounds good. Well, thank you again very much. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a lovely day, Rio. No Thanks again. You too. I better get in out of this rain. Better get some. I well, think, it's stopping. I think some lunch is in order. Yeah. All right, stay safe. You too. Until next time. Until next time. Oh. Oh. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Very good. Another, another good ride along and meeting another senior officer. Very good.
Very good. Learning lots. Very good. Alrighty, break time I think. 